He's got to answer. He'll answer. <laughs> Welcome to Wine About hey, It. Hey, welcome to Wine About oh, It. Welcome, welcome to Happy Wine About Sunday, It. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's so good to see you. <laughs> we did a photo shoot before this, and Cutie's been so f***ing annoying. You're not supposed to swear in the first 30 seconds. Frick! Cutie and I did a photo shoot before- Today. What is today. this? Sorry. My glasses gross, cleaner. <laughs> it's for my glasses. Keep it off our bench. You it looks literally gross. Got, she literally got olives and onions Why? I literally on look this. so chubby. I'm actually going to- I'm wearing shorts Slap underneath, you. and you can see all the ruffles of the shorts. Yeah. Oh, Welcome. another YouTube thing. We now have to cover our legs. This is a Mormon podcast. This is a Mormon podcast. Um, we have to cover our legs because we keep getting demonetized on YouTube, and we don't know why because uh -huh. it's the same content every time. Uh huh. But we did like a little review thing. Uh -huh. Cutie did a little review thing. An intense review. Intense I would say. review. And she genuinely thinks the only difference between the ones that did not get demonetized and the ones that did were that we had blankets over our legs the whole time. Yeah. Thanks, YouTube. You're Maybe. somehow worse than Twitch. What? Okay, well. Or it's because I said that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, but we're going to experiment by covering our legs. So this is cool. Yeah. Legs are covered. Yeah. So, uh, welcome to Wine About It. Yeah, we did a photo shoot um, before this. Cutie and I were in here. Um, it was... It was fine. Hard. I think, I th well, I think it went fine. We did t we did pictures together because we need to make a Wine About It, like, oh, Instagram, Instagram. And We Twitter. will have a Wine About It Instagram soon. Yeah. But then... Uh, yeah, and then we did some solo ones, and then we did ones together where we had to, like... He was like, oh, like, act like you like each other. <laughs> Don't, don't do that. Don't do Marsh like that. No, okay, he doesn't talk like that, but like, so we had to like hug. It was so... She hated it. It was really rough. I felt like, fine. Genuinely. I was fine. Um, but should have some cool pictures soon. Chat, cool news. I have, you. we tell them about my, my diet and workout and personal trainer. I've lost 10 pounds. I've gained weight. So... You do kind of look like Velma now that you have the glasses on. Frick. Yeah. That Doesn't she, wait, no, you know what would actually do it? Is, uh, is one of these. Pony, t oh. One of these. Half and half, yep. Now, audio listeners, she has taken off her mask. She is now Velma, and she won't let the kids get away with it this time. Say the line. <laughs> like fuck Scoob? Is that what no, she says? No, that's <laughs> literally not Velma. <laughs> that's she the only thing that I know says from one thing. Wait, I didn't. S Frick, Danny. I'm sorry. Sorry, Danny. Sorry. You're the reason that gets demonetized by. You are the reason. I'm actually sorry. She says jinkies. That's what she says. Jinkies. How was it? That was good. That was pretty good. Okay. Um. Well, welcome to Wine About It, episode one, two, three, four, five, because we split one and a half. <laughs> And it didn't well work well. Technically, we've only had four episodes. People don't know that about us. It's a secret. Um, we have wine that we've already opened. For the photo shoot. For the photo shoot. And Cutie it'd be wasteful. tried to pour wine in my mouth for the photo shoot. Oof. And she poured it in my eyes. True. Like, it actually really hurt. And then my eyes were red. I was laughing. The rest of the she photo was shoot. crying. She put it in my eye. I didn't mean to. There's a picture of it. You'll see the picture. I'm definitely going to post the picture. It is, you can see the stream of white wine into my eyes. I hated the picture because I was like laughing and so I got, I got insta double chin where I'm like, ha, ah, but it's okay. Cause never it's, laugh. It's in your eyes. It makes you ugly. Never, <laughs> never, laughing makes you ugly. <laughs> Straight up. People say that. Dude, my foot is really itchy. Um, well, tell them out of our wine today. Um, what do you mean? It's this is like part every, part literally no, it's not. We go over this every time. Cutie's like a big part of the wine about a podcast is that we try different wine. It's never been a part of the podcast. She just insists We've on it being a done cool it thing. five. Yeah, but times. nobody cares about the oh, wine. Oh, okay. Let's stop. Uh, listeners, do you care about the wine? They said no. There's so many yeses. They're all saying no. You <laughs> are all saying full yeses. of it. Audio listeners, they're all saying no. Oh, uh, audio listeners, she's gaslighting you. They are saying yes. 
Smiley face. It's called 19 crimes, each declared by his majesty to be punishable on con- What? By transportation? What? Audio listeners, Maya doesn't know how to read. Excuse me, dyslexic. I do know how to read. <laughs> that was ableist. Please. You actually read those comments. Exposing down. yourself. Sorry. Oh, the chat is running a poll if they care about the wine right now. My foot is so itchy, I really can't itch it. Solve the problem. Feet are really hard to itch. Oh, my God. Do you have shoes on? I have socks on. You know when you're trying to itch under a sock? Chat, you get it. No, I don't. I always gets it. Anyway, um... So, last Wine About It, we had a lot to talk about because we had the award show. Uh-huh. And the Wine About It before that, we had a lot to talk about because we had that party where I had to break up a fight between Cutie Cinderella and famous ex-Viner. <laughs> um, that was sick. That was crazy. Uh, this Wine About It... We haven't we done don't really, We haven't really done anything crazy. Um, <laughs> but we do have some things to talk about. Cutie, yeah. Cutie brought some, some I had props. to, I had to LOL at someone in chat as I'm itching my foot said, Cutie, hands above the blanket. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Which was funny. That was funny to me. Um, please don't move on until we finish the wine segment. I did finish. I read what it no, is. It's a red pour wine. pour some and then we try it and we talk about it. You want me to pour more? Yeah. Um, chat, really bad news. I am hungover. Um... 63% said no to caring. That's... I told you. 63% of you are fake fans. That's what I'll say to you guys. I am hungover. Uh, I did go out to to some bars last night. I, I threw up at the bar, but I did not tweet about it. So... She didn't big. invite me to the bar. She never wants to come. Take a sip. Cheers. It's what we do every episode. Every episode. Ow, I hit my tooth. Uh, yeah, that. Mm. Oh, you know what? This tastes similar Disgusting. to last week's. <laughs> last month's. Yeah. Tastes like wine. It's not good. I don't like wine. Um, but anyway, welcome to Wine About It. So, uh, you should see a doctor. I think I should just drink less. Um, yeah, I, what I do drank, you mean? Yeah. Why should, I, what does she need to see a doctor for? I drank, uh, I drank, let's see. I had three shots, two seltzers, and, oh my god, I had three shots, two seltzers, and two beers. That's actually a lot. That's a lot. But one of them was a light beer. But it was over, it was over the course of like, like five hours. I want to get drunk quicker before we start. Is there anything serious we need to talk, anything serious we should talk about first to preface we can bring the trauma. I can bring the trauma. Uh, the trauma? I don't know. You said you want to talk about something serious. I mean, I'm just saying before we get drunk. Yes, me being invited to things. We should talk about that. Oh, my gosh. Cutie was like, people don't invite me to things. They don't. Which is sad. <laughs> and it's true. And it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I told her it's because people think she just doesn't want to go. I usually don't want to go. Right, so, like, why would But I still want to be invited. Like, I, whenever I ask you, like, do you want to go out? Do you want to go clubbing? No. I, right, exactly. So, like, I don't want to ask you every time because you're going to say no. You'd ask me, though. Okay. It's in the thought. I want to be invited. I just want to be invited. It's actually not, Maya invites me to everything. I do. This is not on Maya. This is, LA is a hard place for me. Does that say hoes on Twitch? That is cool. Thank you for the five gifted. Are you? Oh, it says Haas. From Hose on Twitch. Wait, does it, I can't read. I can't see that. Haas. Thank Haas. you for the five. Oh my gosh. It would be cool if it was like Hose on Twitch and it was like the girls gone wild people and they were like, these are the Hose on Twitch. Ten more gifted. Flash a boob. <laughs> you know? Mitch Jones. Magnolia Twitch Hose. That's, oh, I get a Hose on Twitch. I remember seeing <laughs> girls gone wild commercials. Do you remember seeing them as a kid? I don't know what that is. <gasps> You don't know what Girls Gone Wild is? No. Is it? Oh my god. What? Uh, okay, so late at night when you'd be watching MTV, there would be these commercials for Girls Gone Wild, and it was to s buy a subscription, uh, essentially. And what Girls Gone Wild does is they would go to college girls or they'd go to clubs and they'd be like, do you want to come back in our van? We'll give you money. I don't even know if they gave money. Chad, did they give money? I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. But they'd be like, 
come back in our van, like, or it's like spring break or whatever. No, yes, it's, it, 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 it's a mixed bag, it seems. This was on television? Oh, that you get a t-shirt, that's what you get, you get a t-shirt. Yeah, 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 you get a t-shirt. No, it wasn't on television, well, I'll get there. But essentially, they would like lure you into their van with candy and then like try to get you to like get naked and touch yourself. Uh, um, yeah. Wait, or, that's like kind of whack. Is I know. It not? They, I think they've definitely gotten canceled by now. They had to have. Um, or they would. You would go through the. They'd go through the clubs and they would try to get girls to flash them. We should do that. No. <laughs> we should IRL. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. It's sexual harassment. Oh. Yeah, they went to jail. See? Yeah, the dude went to jail. Thank goodness. Because all you'd get was a t-shirt that said, I went on Girls Gone Wild. Um, but I remember I'd stay up late watching MTV, and they would show commercials for Girls Gone Wild. So essentially, it'd be like the camera in the club. And it'd be like, do you ever see Cloverfield? The horror movie? Yeah, where it's like one person. It, it was like that. Like just some guy walking through the club, and he was like. Thank you for the five. Hi. Not telling my story. Sorry. Real, shut the f <laughs> <laughs> No, shut the- We're gonna stop swearing. I have this sworn point on. once, for the record. Okay, from this point on, not swearing. Continue. And so it'd be this guy going through the club, and they'd be like, girls gone wild, and then they'd like flash, and, the, and then on- Have you ever flashed anybody? No, oh my god, that's so lame. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so lame. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, I should flash people. That's so lame. What was that? Because I came to the really, I came to the realization that I've never flashed anyone, and that's kind of sad. I've I've been to New Orleans, and I didn't even show old men my hoo haws. I've never flashed anybody. I feel either. like you're lying now. Not on purpose. <laughs> I mean, I've stood up on bars, so like I'm sure that I have on accident. Why weren't you wearing underwear? Because it's a college bar, and I was trying to go crazy. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Wait, I was wearing underwear. Why weren't you wearing bra? What? Why? I don't. Th I think you can flash someone with undergarments on. No, that is not. That does that not count as a flash. Are you sure? I feel like anything with the motion of like pulling up your shirt is like flashing somebody. No, one. No, no, no. You've got to show nipple. Or it doesn't count. Yeah, it does that does not count. Have you ever been flashed? Yeah. Dude, my boss used to do that to me all the time. That's sexual yeah, harassment. Yeah, like, actually, big yikes. If, That's if, an issue. If, that, if it was a man, it'd actually be, like, really, really messed up. You know what? I it was still kind of messed up, right? I have an interesting thing to throw at you. I, I genuinely want your opinion, and I want to keep this as vague as possible. I'm ready. Because I got Slime's opinion, and Slime actually disagreed with me. Okay. Which, fair. Classic. So... God, this is disgusting. I'm trying to figure out how to word this. So imagine there is a woman, a woman oh. on, you know, the internet, on t Twitter, Twitter sphere. Okay. And she, you know, owns a company of influence that can sponsor and blah, blah, blah. Like, truly. Like, she is the owner of truly and she can sponsor oh, your okay, stuff okay. if she wants. Great. And she goes through and she says very explicit things to you on Twitter. Like, you're a male, right? Okay. And she's like... Hey, I want to bleep your bleep bleep, but bleep bleep bleep. You too. And I say that's sexual harassment. And Slime was like, that's not sexual harassment if the guy's into it. And I'm like, well, of course the guys are into it because they're lonely. But imagine, imagine if it was the other way around. Aww. Like if it was Naveed from Cash App saying that stuff to me, I'd be like, that's sexual harassment. But since I think it's kind of messed up. Am I crazy? No, I think you're right. But Slime said I am wrong because it's not harassment if they like it. <laughs> oh, God, that sounds bad. But uh, no, I mean, that is, is true. That it's, not, it's not harassment if, if, if the other person's like down. Yeah. It's only harassment but if it's unwelcome. But I still feel like it's like this weird, like... It's super unprofessional. They shouldn't do that. Maybe that's it. But I, it, 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 I just keep saying it. It keeps making me so uncomfortable. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh, we shouldn't be using a platform like that. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It makes me really, really uncomfortable. I don't know. But, yeah, I was just curious if what you thought about it. Because Slime was like, I don't no think queen. that it's, it's only harassment if it's not welcome and then it's persistent, right? But, like, it's... I, I mean, if they welcome it, then it's, it's fine. Right, but I don't think that it's a good thing to do. I think it's, I think it's messed up. I have That's a question weird. for you. 
Yes. On very, very different, but because this the taste of alcohol is in my mouth and it's really stressing me out because mm-hmm. I'm hungover and it's, it makes me feel like I'm going to throw up. Shouldn't Yesterday, throw up. I had three shots at this bar, right? And the first time I went to take a shot, these girls bought me a shot because they were buying themselves shots. And then I asked the bartender. <laughs> Did you look poor? They were like, oh, no, no, no. It was the girls girl. that I was with. And they were like, let's take shots, right? So oh. Whatever. So we were at the bar. And then I asked the bartender, I was like, can you, for the fireball, can you pour me half a shot? And he goes, no. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then the girls were like, he gets it. You get it. You get it. And then he poured a whole shot, and I had to take the whole thing. Because I was standing right there, right? And, like, I'm not going to drink half of it and then leave it. Because, you know, it was just, like, this awkward thing. And so the next two shots, I asked him both times. I was like, can you please just, like, pour half of it? Like, I can't. I can't do a full shot. And he was like, nah. Like, you got it. You're fine. Isn't that kind of fucked? <laughs> or messed up? Sorry. Danny, I'm Sorry. Sorry. That's interesting. That's interesting. People because are saying no. Really? I think that's kind of weird. But it's also like he doesn't benefit from it. And it's probably harder for him, like, checks and balance wise. Because, you know, if, because they charge for, so in a big bottle, I think you get like 32 shots Why or something like this. Oh. I know. But based on their checks and balances, when they see an empty bottle, they say, oh, good. There's been 32 shots charged or something like that. Business. I don't know. I don't. That's just how I think uh, that maybe he was like, no, this is not worth like messing up my accounting. But I I don't know if that's true. I seem like an accountant. Well, not him. Like maybe his (laughs) boss gets mad at him. Like, yo, I notice you're charging people the wrong stuff, or maybe they have complaints. I don't. I don't know. I'm trying to. I think it is weird peer pressure. Yeah. Okay. Well. But you also could have drink in half. After we do this whole, like... What is this? <laughs> Don't say that to me. <laughs> why, why would you do that? <laughs> audio listeners, her hair looked whack. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I noticed. Um, I mean, you could have, like, faked... Like, I faked it before. I'm not throwing that behind me on the floor. I feel so bad. It's fireball. It'd be so sticky. Well, that's his choice. If he doesn't want to give you a full... Sh- if he doesn't want to give you a half shot, the half of it ends up on the floor. Then I just look at him and I dump the half out on the countertop. That's what I would do. <laughs> I took a shot of an egg once on a countertop on a bar. Why would you do that? It was my birthday. Ew. <laughs> Dude, birthdays are lame. The older you get, what are you supposed to do on a birthday? Yeah, see, I haven't hit that point yet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> June 6th, everybody. I'm going to have a good time turning 25 again, for the record. Congratulations, happy birthday. Well, it's, it's June. <laughs> it's in June. Your birthday's before mine. My May. birthday is May 24th. I'm going to be 24. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. I'm so old. 24 on May 24th, big time. That is your golden year. Yes. Which means nothing will be different than any other year. Yes. If I'm being honest. Um, there was something we were talking about. Oh, Girls Gone Wild. <laughs> We, when Cutie and I were doing the shoot today, the oh, yeah. photographer was like, it looks a little p***y right now. And we were like, oh, sorry. <laughs> well, because, well, it was valid because we were trying to do this. We were trying to steal Pinterest poses for the record. <laughs> yeah. And there's like these cool hot girls that were like feeding each other pizza and they yeah, did so not I look Yeah, so I went p-ing. feed Cutie pizza, uh-huh. but it looked like p-ing, I guess. <sighs> and then like, she's like pouring a wine bottle in my mouth. I guess it looked kind of p-ing. Yeah. Marsha's <laughs> in chat. <laughs> Yay, Hi. This is, this is not Marsha's fault. It's our fault for being too hot. Yeah. No, the other girls, the girls in the picture, the example pictures, they're just more hip than us. That they could get away with doing hot things without it looking hot. We're awkward, so it didn't look natural, and it just looked like we were posing for... It looked stupid. Yeah. Um, How much, how much, how much would it take for you to do a... I don't think I could. Right. I mean, it would ruin your career for sure, but, like, how much? I mean, 100 it? mil, I guess. Because I could live off that for the rest of my life. I could live off a lot less And than then that, I'd just be like, bye. Would you really? If someone if someone offered you 100 mil? I don't think I would, actually. If someone offered you 25. I, like, hypothetically, I'm like, I don't think I would, but. 25 mil. No. 50 mil. No. 75. No, you I'm telling you, a hundred. Okay, maybe I. I'd At seventy-five, pause. I would seriously think about it. I think I'd pause, but I don't know. I don't know. It'd just be so hard. 
It would. I think I would do it for a... I think I'd think about it for a hundred mil. Okay. Well, what, what, wait, 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 what's your price? You heard it here for... <laughs> I, I in, think... Someone I in think, chat added NMP lol. Oh I think I would think about it at 75. Morals are boring and expensive. You and got that from Amaranth. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Amaranth. And you've also done nothing... Knows. You've done nothing on that spectrum. That's you, not true. You can't say morals are boring and expensive and then do nothing. What have you done? Ow! <laughs> Founded a non-profit. That's... Uh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna... I've done a bunch of raid sponsors. But there's nothing wrong with raid. <laughs> yeah, what? I actually really what like raid. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I've done a lot of sponsors that are like... It's not like I'm like... Oh, like I really love this. You know? I want to push this. That's kind of... Immoral. I guess. I don't know what's going on with her. I'm sorry, chat. She's done nothing. She's fine. I'm drinking enough wine that it's just making me my like head tired. Okay, drink. Then I know, so I'm trying to drink more because I don't want to be head tired. I think she. Do you think you're gonna get like hammered, hammered? No. What's the worst sponsor you've ever done? Oh, um. Uh, gummy fun mix. Really? That shit is so gross. Really? It was so <laughs> yucky. And I had to sit there and pretend like I liked it, and I hated it. No! It was so gross. I remember everybody doing that one. Guys, gummy fun mix is yucky. Don't <laughs> buy it. It's straight yuck. What if they offered you? I'd do it again. <laughs> you know I would. I've talked so much on Raid Shadow Legends, and then our award <laughs> show comes along, and I'm like, Raid, listen up. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? No, I actually like Raid. Ask me for 100k, or ask, I ask them for 100k. I legitimately have fun doing Raid. Yeah, that's, they don't like stuff like that. They don't like doing sponsors. Like no, that. they don't like doing things. They just want to push downloads. Yeah. I, my, my worst sponsor was Display. Why? Because they don't work. They don't stay, Display is like. What do you mean? It's a poster, is it not? They don't stay on the wall, dude. Just hammer During them in. my dis, no, it's not, it's metal. It's like printed on metal. Uh -huh. And then you're supposed to, like, stick it to the wall with a magnet. You can't, like, drill it in there. My okay. displays were falling down while I was doing the sponsored stream. Uh-oh. And then I had to work so hard to get them to pay me. If I didn't check, they still Ooh, would not pay me. I've never had something like that. Ooh. Actually, yes, I have. I have one sponsor that I still don't think has paid me, but I gave up. Yeah, it was, it was really annoying. It is always awkward. I will say, you know what? No, I won't. I'm going to drink some wine. Oh, well, I was deciding if I want to say this yet. Oh. Mm. Drama. No, but before we get into it, before we before we get too lost in the night into the fun things, I do want to say something about um, our past month and what we've what we've done is, as you know, last month I got banned from LSF. It was very exciting. And then within this month, call me cat over here. Mm. Mm. She got banned from LSF. Yay! Very cool. People pog. Wow. So I could flash Girls Gone Wild right now. No, you could not. Why? Because then I would get banned. No, -uh, I would. No, I think we both would. <gasps> we could go on vacation. I would. That'd be so three, fun. Three days. Really? Yeah. Damn. Well, actually, no. I, I, that might be. That would be a perma. If you like legitimately did it, it was an accident. Yeah, no. You can't. No do it. way. Yeah. That girl who showed her did it on purpose. And she got three days. The only thing that Twitch is consistent about in regards to bans. Hey, is any staff in chat? Mitch Jones. <laughs> Mitch Jones is here? Otherwise, it makes no sense. Ah, uh, shoot. Um, but something I want to talk about is LSF and clips. And I want to tell you guys my cool plan oh, for events. Because I do events. You guys know this, and I want the clips to be accessible and reactable. So we're making a website that essentially they'll all live off of. So then, like, when everyone gets home from camp, they can go to this website and they'll have all the clips from the top um, from that week. It'll only work if uh, you guys participate, and some people are like, oh, it won't work. Uh, we've already been doing it on my channel, and it's been great yay so it, it'll definitely 1000 percent work and it's way better than lsf and, and there, it's not a forum you can't like the, yeah there's no them. forum it's just it's just funny clips. clips and you just upvote them or downvote them and if they get too many downvotes they just auto get deleted so it, like doesn't matter and so wow. yeah it's super oh your blanket ma'am 
please. Sorry. Mormon. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really, really cool. And you guys will, you'll see it in action soon because you might have seen it on Twitter. I'm working on something. The formal announcement comes out on Friday, but you know, we'll give the podcast listeners oh. a bit of a oh sneaky my gosh. peeky. Actually exciting. You guys loved Champ, right? Picture this. Picture this. 16 of the top female content creators getting together for a weekend in Miami. <laughs> same, same, same concept as Champ. It's all going to be laid out. It's going to be uh, a bunch of planned streams. People have already been given their uh, invitations and we're just working on RCPs and getting some stuff locked in, but it's coming. It's called Girls Trip. I, Cutie is a genius. I'm so excited. I've been brainstorming ideas. It's going to be so fun. I want to have a frat party with all of them where we all wear Hawaiian shirts and and we wear hats backwards and sunglasses and then we like caress. Do like a beer pong. Yeah, we do beer pong and beer dye and, and we caress like power tools and shit. Yeah, and we count how many like GHBs we can slip into each other's drinks. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. And then we try to stick our d*** in everything. <laughs> it's gonna be so sick. It's gonna be a frat party. It's gonna be awesome. Mm's, 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 mm's. I miss frats. <laughs> Someone call hoes on Twitch. We need a sponsor. Uh, you know what's crazy about frats in college? What? I just remember this. People would genuinely say, like when we we're like, hey, you want to go to this frat? And they'd be like, no, they're super Whoa. Yeah, isn't that crazy? That is crazy. I don't know why I just thought of that. Well, I, I do know why I just thought of that. Because, yeah. Um, the worst thing about these events, though, mm. is that people are always like, oh, did you invite so-and-so? Did you invite so-and-so? Did you invite so-and-so? Problem solved. Um, us on Twitch, thank you for the five. Gifted. Yeah, five. I want, I want people to know how the invites worked for this is I had to invite Maya because she's my business partner. I really didn't want to. I want to make that very clear to everyone in chat. I'm it would famous. have been more fun without her, but I did have to invite her. Um, and then I made a list. I made a list of all of like the female content creators I know. And then I just cut it up and I put it in a hat because I couldn't choose. I literally couldn't choose. I know that's a little problematic, but I feel like it's less problematic. Yeah. Can you just say that and you're like, I'm sorry. You, I mean, you didn't, it was. I, it was literally just random. So, but yeah, yeah. So I randomly chose. Except Every, for me, I'm everyone's famous. saying cap. You'll be so wrong once you see the list of people coming. It makes coming. no sense. It's, it's the be most so random. It's very, very random. It's gonna be sick. Yeah. It's good. They're from all over the place. Yeah. Uh, so it's gonna be really, really cool. But you'll see. Make sure you just follow me on Twitter, and you'll see the formal announcement on Friday, next Friday, with everyone that's coming. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. Twitter should be exciting. Cinderella. We have that coming up. So, and we'll have a website for it, and it'll be so cool, and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say some people have been invited, and they haven't replied yet, um, but yeah. So, we're working on it. Forsen is confirmed. Alinity already leaked. That bitch. Did she really? <laughs> Damn it, I knew, I knew I should have. Alinity! I told, we were talking about... We were talking about like there is gonna be drama. That's gonna that's what's gonna make it interesting though. You know that's how it goes. But I was <laughs> she was like yeah, Lindy's coming, and I was like oh yeah, we're yeah, we're gonna <laughs> like things are gonna happen. It's gonna be uh, sick. Well, there'll be more info soon. There'll be more info soon. There'll be more info soon. So don't worry. Yes, we're all going to Miami. It'll be very very exciting. Hooray! So. Hell yeah! More info on Friday, but. Ow. Also, drama. You didn't really get involved. I don't know where have you been, actually. Where under, have you been? Under a rock. Uh, how do you feel about Jason R? I, Cutie, I said a joke about him because you wrote the joke for me. I you don't know, know who that is. Yeah. Don't know who that is. I, I've seen some stuff on Twitter, and I know that a, a couple girls I've talked to have been mad about him, but I genuinely don't know who that is. He's awful. Is he a gamer? Yeah, he's a gamer. The thing is, is it's one of those things where I don't even want to talk about it because it gives him attention that he doesn't deserve or need. Right. But he's also such an awful person that we do need to talk about it because this has been just like um, the month of sexists for some reason. Women's History Month is yeah. coming off hot. I, I don't know. It just came off hot. and So it's this, this guy that he won't play video games with women. Okay. Um, and in fact, if he's is like in a lobby. they're bad at them? It's because they're women. Oh. Yeah. It's not even their skill set. It's just because they're women. Right. Um, and so if, if they're in... 
I will say, people are being like, so Ninja. At least Ninja wouldn't dodge lobbies. Like, if he joined a lot, like, he joins Fortnite lobby and hears a, a woman's voice, he will dodge the lobby. Like, he'll leave. Yes. What a <laughs> Yeah. That's so weird. It is so weird. And, uh, oh, Ninja did do that? I mean, I, I'm not, <laughs> listen, I'm not defending Ninja. I think Ninja's cringe as hell. Uh, but I definitely signed up for Ninja's master class. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think if we took that, we would be successful. I don't know Ninja at all. I don't know his wife at all, so. He's an asshole. I don't care. Oh, okay. Well. I'm sure they'll sue me for defamation now that I said that out loud. Ah. You're an asshole. For you um, anyway. Uh, so, so Jason R is an awful person, and I forget what triggered it all. He said something about, is this one that said something about he doesn't want to play because he doesn't want to disrespect his wife, and then you tweeted him, like, yeah. like lewd photographs of, like, some girl? Yeah. Okay. But his, his girlfriend would ban. His girlfriend's just as bad, or his wife, his wife. Jason R's wife is just as bad. She would ban females from his chat. And in fact, I will. I, I want to read some things that she said, in um. In. Is it possible that he's his chat? Okay, I, I don't mean to like give him any slack or whatever, but is he like just so scared? I think he's. I think he. So what it sounds like, he came out with this this apology where it's like, he was like, oh. I was unfair to my wife. A.K.A. He cheated on her, right? Why does everybody cheat on their wives? It's can, also just can you like guys stop. My thing is like this poor woman is now very very insecure. Obviously, that's why she acts like this. Like, homegirl, you deserve better. Like, just leave. Just leave. Just leave. He cheated. He is. He ain't. I'm gonna say it. He ain't. Shit. Oh wow. <laughs> he ain't. Shit. God, like alcohol is so. Imagine imagine getting cheated on by someone in Twitch chat. Like, that's crazy that he would do that to you. Like, you you deserve so much better than that, my queen. Even though you are Wait, kind of... cheated on her with someone in his chat? Something like that. I don't know. Because it's got to be something in gaming or in chat or something like that. I don't even want to call her a queen because she is not innocent here and she's been really awful too. I don't know how to talk about any of that. I don't know either. These people are starting to freak me out. Because I just don't know anything about it. Okay. Well, let me read some of I, like, this stuff. Bad. Let me read some of the stuff that she wrote in chat about a um, female... Female Twitch staff member. Okay. Who was, you know how you can see when staff is in your yes. chat, right? Any staff? Any staffers? Um, so she wrote this. She said, so sad. Like, aren't you embarrassed, RN? Yes, she's creeped for hours. I can't even tag her. And then in all caps said, girl, you're sad. She's such a c dumpster. I can't stand her. She's the only one that's actually insane and gives the other chicks a bad name. The other chicks? You're the, you're the chicks. Oh my God. You're the chicks giving other chicks a bad name. That's like big time incel. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. And then she's obviously talking to someone in chat and she's like, yeah, she's here. It's girls like this that make all Twitch girls look bad, even the chill ones. Like he asked her to leave so many times nicely. And it's like, bruh, uh, Wait, and then Twitch staff is doing their jobs. Like, hello? I feel sorry for her boyfriend because everyone has f***ed her. The chill girls get no credit because they stay out of the drama. Can you leave? She sits on stream all day long. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. So she unsolicited said this about just, like, a Twitch that, which, unconfirmed if it was a male or female, like, their name could have just looked female and she went on this rant. That's, for, like, that's like an SNL skit for, like, worst women, yeah. worst woman ever. No, it's crazy. Her being, like... Her being like, this girl makes other girls look bad. I just want to be like, oh, honey, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you about yourself, but you're awful. Like, that so she's tough. awful. But I, I do think she's coming from a place of just like crazy insecurity. She was cheated on and she's staying with this man that she shouldn't be with. That And clearly they both need so much therapy. But yeah, so, so he uses his wife as a scapegoat saying, I can't play with women, right? Yeah. And he's, he's playing with a bunch of guys, one of them being Tarek, which W's in chat for Tarek. And I know this he's is a good. bit of an old topic, but still. Um, he's playing games with Tarek, and he's, like, asking Tarek, like, well, yo, why don't you stand up for me? You know, Tarek's like, because I don't agree with you. Like, yeah. And then he's like, you're a bad friend. And then he says, he says, why are you being, he's like, I'm not sexist. Why are you being such a girl about it? 
Oh my god. Literally in the same sentence. Oh no. Yeah. It was insane. Um, and so that was the problem. And then he goes on to say, he's like, I'm just trying to respect my wife. But then I went on Twitter and I went to his likes and he had liked like <laughs> pictures of half naked women, which I'm like, oh yeah, you totally want to respect your wife. Like, ugh, imagine playing a video game with a girl that's not flirting with you. Cause I can't imagine any woman flirting with this man. Um, but yeah. And this guy's still platformed by the way. That's wild. He still he's streams up, on he's... twitch.tv. But he's not, like, in an org or anything? Uh, no. I believe he might have, like, a, a G Fuel sponsorship. But I know a lot of women in the industry that are, like, saying to shared sponsors, like, I will pull out if you keep sponsoring this guy because yeah. that's messed up. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that too. Um, yeah, I just think, listen, you... I, under, I understand, I, okay, I will say, I understand to an extent, like, and this is a bit of a fem cell take, but I understand to an extent someone in a relationship not wanting to play with someone of the opposite gender, but it goes either way. Because, like, the minute I am on, I'm playing a game with Seer, it is, lol, oh they're dating, lol, yeah, she's no, 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 cheating on Ludwig, lol, blah, blah, blah. Right. I, I get it. Like, yeah. I kind of get it. When, as soon as, like, I can't even tell you, every single time Ludwig plays anything with Valkyrie, the amount of message that I get that's like, she's so much hotter than you anyway. And I'm like, dude, bro. Yeah. What? Like she's, they're just playing a video game. Like yeah. what, what is going on? It's just, it's obnoxious. Like right. it's genuinely just obnoxious, but it's not like, it's not worth being like, oh, you can't play with any of the opposite gender. It's just saying like, dang, that sucks. And that's annoying. Right? Like that's it. And so that's why I think there's so much insecurity in their relationship specifically because it's like, well, and cheating, if there's yeah, cheating. Yeah, cheating and just That'll the way it. you react to that stuff is just like, I don't know. Cutie talks about people. What? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Cutie and I talk a lot of <laughs> What? <laughs> I do. I love people like that that are like, ugh, she talks so much while talking about me. <laughs> like, you were also just talking about me, so I guess we have a lot in common, you and me You guys and have Chef. drama right now. Me and that guy in chat? Fight it out. Guy in chat, you're nothing. You never will be anything. That's really embarrassing that he can't respond right now. You won. Dab. Ew. Audio listeners, I dabbed. Ew. But okay. ironically. Okay. Which makes it cooler. Cool. Um, one more sexist thing. Is, have you heard about this speed guy? He's super sexist. He's a he's a little streamer, and people uh, people gave him the. Uh, I just have to say, we'll move on really quick because it's not worth dwelling on sexist because we're used to it. But and lots of people are like, "What the heck? I love speed." Yes, regardless though, you guys, anybody who acts like a jerk to the opposite gender, <laughs> there's just no reason. And everyone's saying he is a kid. Okay, I see so many people saying he is 17. Listen up, losers. I went through my entire childhood without being sexist. So why is him being 17 an excuse? Please tell me. Genuinely. Please. Please. 17 is, like, I legally, it's a kid and it is a kid. Like, you know, they're, they're still a kid. But also, like, he definitely knows what's up. Like, he's literate and all that, you know? I just, I just don't, <laughs> like, I genuinely don't understand why we give so many people, like, we give people excuses based on their age. It, you should just never be sexist at any age. You should be never be racist at any age. You should never be phobic of any kind at any age. Like, whoa. I feel like what? I don't think anybody. Okay, I feel like when you're a kid, sometimes you're accidentally racist. If your parents okay, are racist, accidentally, you're yeah, yeah, I agree. Don't question mark me. That's true. If your parents are super racist growing up, like you're just, you're just not gonna like the things that your parents teach you not to like. And that is racist, but, like, I don't feel like that's a kid's fault, you know? Like, that's just, like, it's not an innate thing. I don't know. It's learned. I I was raised in a very Republican household, and they straight up convinced me that Obama was not an American citizen. And I was really confused. My mom has too many horses named Michelle and Barack. Really? <laughs> yeah, they're black, which is, like, a little bit... Oh, it's no. It's, like, a little controversial, but she loves the Obamas. Yeah, no, I, I love the Obamas now that I've, like, you know, developed my own brain. But when I was younger, I remember being like, what the heck? So I, I understand, 
at a young age not knowing better, but I was like, I don't, I think I was like 14, you know what I'm saying? Like, by I was 17, 14. you could know better for sure, though. Yeah. Like, I disagreed with the, most of what my parents thought when I was, by the time I was 17. I also just think, like, anyway, what did he do? I don't even know. He would, he, I, there was one thing where he, like, essentially insinuated uh, grape without the G uh, to a girl saying that if, like, he was on, like, Aiden Ross's show or something, and he was like, oh! Yeah. Who's gonna stop me? Yeah. Like, if you and I are the only, you know, that it guys... Was, it, somebody said, like, uh, if, if you guys were the only two people left on Earth, like, would you have sex with him? And she was like, no. And he was like, if we're the only two people left, then who's gonna stop me? And he got he, really aggressive. Yeah. He does not look 17. Wow. That's yeah, wild. and he just kept saying, who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna stop me? Yeah, it was really... Like, guys, he was, like, yelling. It was super. It was please really stop bad. making excuses because of people's ages. Please just like tell them to be better. Like, I think it's so crazy. I think it's so funny that like, oh, he's young. He doesn't. It, it's funny to make fun of gamer girls, or it's funny to do this, or it's funny to insinuate grape time. Like, it's just not. Yeah, that's whack. It's a joke, but it's not a joke. Why is it a joke? Guys, it's, but it's not a joke. When the people that it's about tell you that it's not a joke, why do you keep saying it's a joke? That's like me calling you ugly and it hurts your feelings and then being, me being like, it's a joke though. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's, heard that a million times. Imagine, imagine Twitch chat not empathizing with women. That's a bummer. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so unexpected, shit. I met an Aiden Ross viewer at the bar yesterday. Did you? Yeah. What happened? Nothing. He was just like, yeah, I watch Aiden Ross and um, Escape from Tarkov. And I was like, that makes no sense, but okay. <laughs> that is a weird mix. Yeah, he just really likes Aiden Ross. Uh, we won't talk about it anymore because clearly you guys are on the side of a awful 17-year-olds. But No, most of them are not. Yeah, they are. No, They're they were all aggressive. like, yikes, when we, talked about what, when we talked about what he said. They were like, Jesus. Nobody thinks that that's okay here. Audio listeners, I'm crying. I've lost my faith in Acknowledge humanity. Name of five. All right. I lost my faith in humanity a while ago. That's probably the best way to do it. Yeah, uh, I have a, I have a, I have a few more topics before we you wrote them just down. get wild. I did. I did. Before we go crazy. Before we enter the wild west. Before we enter the wild west, which we've decided to just call whenever we get drunk and or lo lose structure. Alcohol is poison. You guys ever you like wake up the next day from alcohol and your body is just like drained and like you're sore even though you didn't work out, and you're dehydrated and you just feel horrible. Like, wow, what a, what a terrible thing. It's literally, I think that's what it is. Yeah. Oh. Great. I did that, I think there's a little bit of comedy there for the audio listener. We were a little late on it, so you guys saw that, but the audio listeners won't know. Oh, well, I guess they're listening. What? Don't do worry about it. Do you have something to tell them? Do I have something to tell them? Audio listeners. Oh. Tell them about your whale watching trip. What happened there? I went whale watching. I went to Monterey um, for a travel series. It was sick. I traveled with Crazy Slick. Um, he was sick. Uh, <laughs> the I was sick. I threw up five times on that. Why? Boat. Oh, got you got seasick. Dude, I threw up four times on the stream. Oh. Yeah. Was it miserable? It was. It was genuinely like one of the hardest things I've had to push through in my life. I could not stop throwing. I was trying not to throw up, but like I was reading chat. I had my notebook out with my with my runner show, and then. I was talking and talking made me so nauseous and I could not stop. I was trying so hard not to throw up and I, I could not stop. I threw up four times during the stream. I just had to get slick to turn the camera and then I'd throw up and then I'd have to come back and like jump in. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was gnarly. And then I felt terrible for like four hours after. Yeah. Seasickness is no joke. Can I open that? Yeah. You hot? You're not going to like freak out? No, as long as a lizard doesn't come in. Oh my God. She's so scared of nature. Yes. You have to push it all the way. Cutie believes in ghosts. We've never talked about this. I think I, I don't see the harm in believing in ghosts, so I just believe in them. I don't. I don't believe in anything. I kind of wish I did. It's actually really spooky. I don't really like that. Well, <laughs> the door open? Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, well, you can open a window. Yeah, I could. Yo, Unreal Junior, thank you for the five. I think my eyes are starting to get bad too. At least you didn't get white wine in them. <laughs> Ooh, how did that happen? Have you ever seen a ghost? No. No, I've never seen a ghost either. 
I've never seen a ghost and I kind of don't believe in a ghost because my mom loved the shit out of me. And so if she oh, died, right, she would, me. like, come back and visit, I feel like. She'd be like, hey, girl, hey. Right. And so the fact that she hasn't, I'm like, I don't believe in ghosts. Fair enough. But, but, there's... It's hot in here, Jeff. Something about Hollywood and, like, I genuinely feel like there are people in Hollywood that, like, sell their souls to the devil. I'm not kidding. Really? There's some weird sh- You're really, you're not kidding, Anna? I, the only reason, the biggest thing I'm not kidding about is, okay, so there's this house, and I might tell the story wrong. There's this house up in Hollywood that, um, that Britney Spears lived in, and Britney Spears left because she moved out, and she's like, I felt like there was a weird portal there. Like, she was like, it felt really negative all the time. So, not, Britney Spears is like... I know. Leave her alone. Leave Britney alone. Okay, I'm just saying. Leave her alone. And so Britney moves out, she gets a different house. And then Brittany Murphy moves in oh, and God. a few months later dies. From what? Falling down the stairs. Someone probably put a hit on her. No. And then her husband died like two months after. Another hit. No. Did Shut he kill up. himself? No. He also like fell down the stairs or something. Okay. Also, for the record, I could be... <laughs> getting all of this information wrong. <laughs> You're just making it up. I want you guys to know I saw one TikTok and it convinced me. Hi, Zanak. And I forgot it all. I legitimately think that I could be, like, dragged across the floor by my hair with uh-huh. nobody else in the house. Uh-huh. And I would attribute it to something. Wow. I would just be like, that is the most bizarre thing I've ever experienced. You're like, we had a bizarre... Remember that really bizarre moment in Vegas? I think about Wait, it that sometimes. that was really weird. Wait, I think about it sometimes and it makes my stomach drop. But I don't off. think it's supernatural. I think it just has to. I literally, yeah, Sinak is here. Yeah. Perfect. Dude, because I, I call, I'm, we're going to tell it again. We've told it before. I called Sinak right after it happened and I was like, Sinak, you know, I don't believe it. Why did I call Sinak? I don't know. He's everybody's dad, right? But I called him and I was like, Sinak, like, I don't believe in anything, but like, this was really weird. Can you explain this to me, you know, in, in some sort of like realistic way? Um, but we were at a, we were at this hotel in Vegas Oh my god, I don't even remember. We were at this hotel in Vegas. You were in the Cutie, gift shop. I was in the gift shop. Cutie went back to the elevator because she had to go up to the room. And I don't even remember. Oh, my purse. I need my purse. She had to go purse. get her purse. She had to go up to the room. And when I was in the gift shop, I thought I was going to pass out, uh, which is like super not normal for me. But I was I was in the gift shop. The floor felt like it was like moving like like a, a water, water bed. bed. It felt, yeah, like a water bed. And I felt like I was going to pass out. And I remember like bending my knees because I was like, maybe I've been locking my knees too much. Like I just like feel so lightheaded right now. But everybody else in the gift shop was fine because I was interacting with people. I was buying something and like the, the, the cashier was fine. Like ever, but I was like, whoa, like I was legitimately scared that I was going to like, I thought about asking the cashier if I could like sit down somewhere. And then, and then I left the gift shop and I was fine. Like it only lasted a minute or something. And then Cutie came back down, and I told her, I was like, I had the weirdest experience in the gift shop. Like, I just, I felt like I was going to pass out, and Cutie was like, shut up. Well, I cut, I cut you off before you even finished, because I was like, wait, before you tell yours, let me tell mine, because I don't want to just hear yours and agree with it. Yeah, because I And I, I told like, her, like, the same story. I said, like, I had, I had, like, the weirdest, and Cutie was like, stop. Because she was on the other side of the hotel, and she had the same thing. She just had, like... The, the floor was, like, it, moving? Yeah, I was about to get into the elevator, and I pushed the button, and it just, like, it felt like everything was kind of, like, turning almost, and, like, the world was just, like, yeah. moving, and I, like, looked around me, and there was no one around me, and then I was, like, scared to get in the elevator, because I was, like, was that an earthquake? Like, Blood. what was that? But, uh, yeah, it was creepy. It was it was super weird. It was not, it was definitely not drugs, because we both got it. It was definitely not vertigo, because we both, both got it. Like, it couldn't have been an inner ear thing, because we both got it. Like It was just so random, and it was on the first floor, so it wasn't, like, a... It wasn't like we both adjusted at the same time. I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. We don't know what it was. It was, was just, I, it's just some sort of pressure thing, right? Like some sort of... I had a bunch of weird shit happen in Vegas, right? Like, Cutie and I kicked ass at Twitch Rivals. I got drugged. You know, we experienced... I just saw a moth fly by my face. Uh-oh. I hope he gets out. Please leave. Um, so, yeah. Hello, Ludwig viewers. Hello, Ludwig viewers. Hello, how are you? Uh, but yeah, so we, Ludwig and I are buying a new house, um, and every single house we see, I ask the real estate agent if it's, it's haunted. It's so cringe. It's so cringe. What? I need to know. She literally today, she was like, so, like, any ghosts? <laughs> so, you see any ghosts around here? Are you serious? And they're like, 
Nope. Nope, nothing. I need to know, guys. I don't know if I believe in him, but if people have, like, moved out because stuff was falling off shelves, I'm not doing that. What if something falls off a shelf onto my cat and kills it? Something fell off of my closet shelf the other day, but it's because I share a wall with a streamer. Oh, well, that makes and sense. And she slams. Was filming her OnlyFans? No, it was not OnlyFans, no. Imagine. She just slams. She slams. I think and it's valid. And it literally made something valid. fall off of my, the shelf in my closet. I think even if you don't believe in ghosts, it's worth just, like, checking. I don't think that. <laughs> Well, all right. Okay. What else we got? Whale useless. watching. Um, oh, I went home. I went home last week. Wow. It was awesome. Ow. She brought Swift. I no, did. you did. Wait. Yes, I did. I brought Swift. Swift and Durs. Yeah, I brought Swift and Durs, and I went home, and it was awesome. Do a Ouija board. We were talking about that for the uh, for the Mother's Day episode, which is next <laughs> month, because it'll be on the 7th, and then Mother's Day is on the 8th. So I was thinking I'll just bring my mom out, and then we have, like, a Ouija board out, and then... It would just mm. be your mom and a Ouija board. No, your mom could be the two. Well, I don't... Does your mom know how to work a Ouija board? Probably. <laughs> we just leave her in here, and we're like, good luck! Yeah. We, like, tell her my mom's name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Find her! I would be sick. It could be fun. I feel like my mom wouldn't come. She'd be like annoyed that someone bothered her. Oh my god. We're dead. Oh, look who it is. Well, 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 look I who it so is. This guy's got a big head. I don't have a head that big. His head's really big. How's it going? What was that gas thing you guys were talking about? What? What? Oh, I just was reading chat and it said gas smell, Monka W. Am I crazy? <laughs> Chet said that, so I thought you guys were talking about it. Gas leak, gas leak, John. Oh, they're we were talking, talking about Vegas. Oh, Vegas story, classic. Yeah. Classic All right. Vegas story. Yeah, classic Vegas story. Ludwig was really, really nice to me this past week because it was my, it was our anniversary. Smiley Wait, face. What? Three. Two. Two years, really? Yeah. Oh. You know, we, 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 we friend zoned for a while. We lollygagged. We lollygagged. Um, and, uh, and Ludwig was really, really sweet, but now he thinks he can be mean and just be like, I was sweet last week, <laughs> I, so it's fine. I, I wasn't mean. He rated us, cutie. He's so nice. Thank you. Thanks, Maya. Keep <laughs> spreading that gospel. Lud called me short twice today. You literally are. And he said that I was stupid. He said that I was a waste of oxygen. <laughs> wow. It was so mean. And then I did this dance. Yeah, and the real estate agent was like, bro, that's like... And then she made fun of my dance. Yeah. Which was more hurtful than what I said. Everyone's been making fun. Taylor, when we were back home, Taylor would come up. She was over a lot, actually, and he would keep doing that. And she was like, that is... Good dance. This is not a good dance. Good dance. There's a lot. So where are you going? Dinner. Uh-oh, here we go again. What? Cutie's mad. I don't get this. Because you didn't invite me. What? You had the podcast. Why do you plan dinner? It's the only time I have a podcast. Okay, do you want to hear the truth? Yes. I'll give you the unfiltered truth. Yes. I didn't plan a dinner. Carl is in town uh -huh. for the Nickelodeon Kid Choice Awards. Uh -huh. And we talked about getting a dinner. And I, it was like I called him today to figure it out. And, uh, and I recommended a spot. And he was like, ooh, I am down. And so I reserved the spot. Then he bailed. Uh -huh. And he said, oop, just kidding. We're doing it here now at a different time. And I, and I, and I locked a reservation there with the, with the waiter I know. Uh -huh. So I didn't want to hit the guy up and be like, just kidding. So then I pivoted. And I was like, hey, does anybody here want to eat dinner? You didn't send it to the group chat, though. You no. sent it. You sent it to the boys-only group chat. No, I didn't do that either. I just said it literally out loud as I was walking here to do your lobs and set up your lobs. Really? They were in the dock Aiden made the... it sound like you purposely didn't invite me. He said that? Well, he said you, you sent it to just the boys or something. I didn't send anything, so that's just a lie and a farce. I, must, I might have uh, uh, heard him incorrectly. Uh, and so they don't even know that I only invited him because the other people bailed. 
So now they're going to be mad at me too. <laughs> well, they're not going to know. They don't watch my podcast. They've all told me that they don't watch my podcast. I've asked every single one of them if they watch my podcast, and they all say no, which is crazy because I watch The Yard. That's mean. It is kind of mean, but what do you expect? And that's it. It's, so that's why there's a dinner right now. And I also just need to eat food. We have so much pizza. I feel so like you'd be pizza. happier if I ate by myself than with people if you were busy. Well, I have FOMO, yeah. But isn't that, shouldn't you just want me to... I do want you to have fun, but it feels bad when I don't even get invited to the fun, you know? <laughs> Kitty, we're live. You're live! <laughs> right, I would like it. You have a podcast! Alright, goodbye. Alright. Have fun. <sighs> I feel like you're being kind of toxic right now. I am toxic. <laughs> Have you ever met me? Uh, I just want to. What's been the most toxic thing? About I've been complaining for like three weeks about how I never get invited to anything. Oh, that's true. But like we literally, are it's like a new thing. We it's are like alive. I keep not getting invited to stuff, and so it just feels bad. What's the most toxic thing you've ever done in a relationship? Okay, that's that's tough. No. What? what? Have you ever have you gone through guys' phones? There are a lot of people that think that that's actually like a okay. Yeah, I, I don't. I've, I've genuinely had friends in college that were like, if like if there's nothing on there that like there there shouldn't be anything on there that that you can't see anyway. So what's the problem? They're like, if I, I find don't something, see then the I'm right. But like, if there's nothing there, then like, why can't I look at it? I think my problem is is I just don't care. You know what oh. I'm saying? Like, I don't care to go through. Ludwig's phone and see whatever thing him and Slime are sending each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, every single time I've been cheated on, I found out via phone, but okay. not intentionally going through it. So you would think that I would care more right. about going through the phone, but like, I don't even reply to my own text. I don't care to read someone else's text. And people are saying cap on unintentionally. I just genuinely have no reason to lie about that. How did it pop? Did it just like you saw well, it? Well, so the the very first time, I think, I, I don't know if I've told this story on the podcast before, but I, um, we went on a hike. We went on the seven mile hike that I thought was like three and a half up, three and a half down, but it was seven up, seven down. Oh. So, yeah, it was Super awful. Super bright, thanks for the five. Um, so we went on this seven mile hike and we're up at the top. We have a picnic, blah, 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 blah. And then we come back down and my keys were left up on top of the thing. And the issue was, is this guy was also my boss. Oh my and God, cutie. I know. Oh, this is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is that guy. Okay. So it was, he was also my boss and not only my car keys were on it, but my keys to the store because I worked in retail. And so he would have to fire me, which would be really f***ed up if I lost my keys. So it was like this whole thing, long story short, we went and picked up his friend like Alex and in, or we got an Uber, went and picked up his friend Alex. They came back, shotgun of beers and they hiked up to the top. And we were thinking there's, yeah, they shotgun beers and just ran. And I was not in shape enough to do that. Oh. And so I, um, I shotgunned a holiday edition Bud Light seltzer the other day. Just so Ew, you guys know. what flavor was it? Cranberry. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, sorry, chat. I had to drink to finish the story. It was traumatic. Um, anyway, they're up on top of the mountain, and I don't think we're going to find my keys because how do you find a set of right. keys on a mountain? So right. I'm just like going through it. I need to at least get like, I had a spare key to my apartment that was in my car. I had a Volkswagen bug at the time. It was very cute. Very cool. Um, but so I'm sitting in the Jeep and I have his phone because I'm calling AAA. Okay. And I'm sitting there and I have AAA because you're like on hold or whatever. So it's, I have a speaker, but then I'm playing like Candy Crush or something on the phone. I was playing some game. And while I'm sitting there playing a game, he gets a buzz. That was just like, oh, please, baby, please come over tonight. And I was like, I was like, maybe it's his mom. <laughs> like, I remember thinking, like, giving him the benefit of the doubt, because how could he? Guys, this is the same guy that, like, ended up taking my virginity. Like, I clearly was not thinking straight. Um, yeah, and I was like, oh, maybe, like, maybe his mom calls him baby. Like, maybe she needs something, <laughs> like a jar opened. I don't know. I don't know. And I just kind of, right. like, sat there, and I, I, you deal with this thing for a split second where you're like, should I click? Like, I don't want to open it because right. I know it'll show that I opened it. Right, right, right. But I also, like, you know, I don't want to open it also because this is, like, his thing. And I, you know, I should just, like, know better. And as I'm sitting there, the next one pops up top and it's just her boobs. And I'm like, I don't think that's his mom. 
What'd you do? And so, so then I opened it and I read and he'd been like sleeping with her regularly as we've been dating. And I was like, oh. and you could tell because she'd be like, oh, you felt so good last night. And just like, and I was like, oh, f So I called my best friend at the time. I call her and I'm sobbing. Like, this is like my first, like, not even serious relationship. I think it was just my first like adult relationship. Like yeah. I'd go to his apartment, right? Like, you know, and, um. I'm just sobbing my eyes out and she's like, well, you got to say something. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like trying to figure out how to say it. But I'm like, I don't want him to be mad at me because I like opened his text. And she's oh like, oh my God. The crazy You're thing is, I didn't even open his other text too. I'm sure there's tons of girls, right. but it was just that one set, you know, but I, I felt bad about it and blah, blah. Anyway, he gets down from the mountain and he's ecstatic because they found the keys. Yeah. And so he's like pumped. And so they're like, let's go to McDonald's. Like, it's like three in the morning. Oh, my God. You know? And so we get, in, we get in the car. We go to McDonald's. On the what? drive to McDonald's, he's like, why aren't you happy? And I'm like, I, when I was sitting, your phone went off. And Wait, uh, but there were other people in the car. No, because Alex went back to his so Jeep. So it's just car. us two. Yeah, on our way to McDonald's. And I was like, I, I was like, uh, so, you know, this, like, girl texted you like who is she and he's like oh don't worry about her and I'm like no like looks like she wanted you to come over tonight like are you still like talking to her and then he was like he was like I can't believe you'd ruin like our our night because I like I found the keys and oh, we should be I pumped right love now men. I love can't men. believe you'd ruin our night like let's talk about this later and I'm like wait like I'm just I remember just being like really confused and him being like, oh, her and I had a thing a while ago, but it's, like, not current, like, blah, blah, blah. And I, like, couldn't be, like, <laughs> I knew it was current, but I, I just, like, didn't know. I didn't you know how to stand like up for myself. Yeah, phone, right? I didn't know how to stand up for myself, and it was just awful and blah, blah. So then, anyway, so then I, I convinced myself that if I gave him my virginity that he would love me, and then he didn't, and he stole my Nintendo. So, cheers. Um, so, yes, I unintentionally went through his phone. And then the second one was a uh a guy i was dating for about two years uh and he cheated on me a lot but how i found about him and i think i've told this story as well and so i apologize if i'm repeating but i um we were having an hr we were having an hr thing at work like there was an issue with this girl and she was like getting fired for hr and i had to prove like and i had these texts that they needed to see and i was like oh yeah i'll find them like i'll find them and i had deleted them and so then I, I like downloaded this app that's supposed to like recover text. Dude, that's how my, my roommate in college found out that her boyfriend was cheating on her. Yeah. I, so anyway, it's supposed to, it was supposed to recover text. And so he was at work and I plugged in my phone to his computer with the cord uh -huh. and he has an iMac and I'm like using this thing. She found out through his iPad. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing. So I'm using this thing to recover text and I'm hoping it'll do, it'll recover from my phone, you know, like, cause it said you had to plug your phone in. So I like plug my phone in. I did this whole thing and it like doesn't work. And I'm like, Oh, that's such a bummer. But then his screen pops up with messages like his iMac, which is huge. Like you can't, right. You can't look away. Right. And literally it shows, it starts showing like recovered, 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 recovered. And it like had this little thing that showed recovered and it, and one was literally from that day of him telling this girl named Kate that her felt so nice yesterday. And I was like, damn. And it was his birthday and the same thing happened where I brought it up on his birthday because I was just like, dude, what the heck? You hooked up with Kate yesterday? And he was like, why would you ruin my birthday? And I was like, damn, you're right. Why would I ruin your birthday? Wait, I have a question. What? Genuine question. Yes. When I was in high school, I was using my boyfriend's iMac for for schoolwork, because uh -huh. I was in his house, I was doing homework, uh -huh. and his iMessage thing popped up, and there's this girl oh named God. Amy, oh God. who he was like in love with all through middle school. Uh -huh. We were in high school, right? So at this point, he was a he was a sophomore or junior, mm -hmm. and there was a text to her on his iMac, and it said, "Good night, Amy Hart." I remember it so vividly because I I saw it. I didn't open it because I was like, "I'm not gonna read his text. I'm not gonna be that bitch. I'm not gonna do it." Yeah. But I got up and I, I left. I like I was like I just have to go get some binders. Like at Office Depot, I'll be back. And I and I just left uh -huh. for like hours. Yeah. And like cried in my car because I was like I think that like that doesn't look good to me. What do you think that that looks like? Because I never knew. I never I, found out. We dated for five years, by the way. I'm sure it was a bit of an emotional affair potentially. I don't think he actually cheated on you. I. Th 
Are we really I doing this again? Are we really doing that? No, this one I am not calling. There, nope. But we dated for five years. I'm not calling this man. Did Jason ever call back from last time? Oh my god, dude! I legit. I would say that Cliff got a million views on TikTok. Cutie legitimately gave me trauma. Okay, she literally gave me trauma. I talked to my therapist about it. Ugh. I talked to my therapist Ooh. about it. Okay, I literally I brought it. I. Listen, I'm not saying that he definitely cheated. I'm just saying the odds are stacked against him. And you'll never know unless you try to, unless you, unless you could try to call, you could try to call him if you want. If you want. I don't <laughs> you know what I talked to my therapist about? What? And she was like, one of the hardest capacities to develop is living in the unknown. She was like... Oh, I hate that. Right? But she was like, you may just never know, and we're going to have to find a way for you to come to terms with that. Okay, here's the deal. Let's think about this. But what if I just don't have to live in the unknown? What if I call him again? But he also could just... <laughs> even if you call him. Even if you call him. Yeah. He could lie. So men men it, lie. Men. All men do is they eat hot chip and lie. <laughs> Men don't even like hot chip because they're pussies. Ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All men do is not eat hot chip and lie. Chat, I down that wine glass really fast. That's actually, it's hitting me so fast. What the heck? I was sipping so slow and then all of a sudden we started talking about this and I started getting stressed out so I drank the whole thing. <laughs> There's so many men in chat right now that are more offended that I said they don't eat hot chip than we said <laughs> that they lie. And that's like, so I do eat hot chip. You're not entitled. Did someone just say you're not entitled to know? <gasps> what? <laughs> I guess you're not entitled to know. Okay, here's the thing. Man, okay, that's really hitting me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here's the thing. Oh, here's the thing. Thank you. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Are you helping me or are you segueing into something you're going to say? No, I'm helping you. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. See how helpful it is? Yeah, so no, I have not talked to him, right? I did, I texted him after I called him because I was just like, hey, it's Maya, just let you know, like, I got a new number. But, like, ignore the call. I think I even said, I think I might have said it was an accident. I don't know. Hopefully, remember. he's not like he watches you, right? There's no way. He, I know that he was really into Rocket League for a while. We talked about, like, when I, oh my gosh, the first summer after I started streaming, um, the first summer after I started streaming, he, he we, we texted about because he was like pro Rocket League. So he definitely knows Twitch. Okay, I I checked the other day. This is admittedly. I, I know my ex-boyfriend's um, username on Twitch. I, and I immediately checked his watch time the other day. What was it? Ten minutes. Oh. It was nothing. I was just like randomly curious. I was like, I wonder if he still watches me. Because I remember, because I, I had this clip of me checking I was doing the stream all about like how I first started streaming and I went to my my most my oldest followers and I like, told the story of like I remember I remember my oldest followers like my very first follower his name was ice truck killer and it creeped me out and he later changed it to laser and that's my number one follower and so we did this stream and there's this clip of me realizing that my uh my ex-boyfriend stopped like unfollowed me oh. and I was like oh wow I didn't I didn't think like I didn't think I like I don't know. I don't know. It just feels weird. I've listen. I've never gone out of my un, my way to unfollow a ex. I don't care. I just I just move on. I just don't care. And I'm so people for sure. I just yeah. I I don't. I just don't care. I'm just like well, because Eminem once no, said no. I don't. I mute people. The opposite of love isn't hate. It's indifference. And I was like yeah, M. Eminem said that. So. He also said, "Will the real Slim Shady." Please stand up. And I was like, true. Um, anyway. I was stand up, but it wouldn't be that funny. It wouldn't be worth it, and I'm drunk. No, it wouldn't so. be worth it. I'm not drunk. I've had a glass of wine. So, I'm just saying, I don't care. I don't care. And then I was like, I wonder if he still watches me. Because that clip came up on my... Because I was checking my Twitter, because my Twitter guy messaged me, and he was like, by the way, we, don't, we went up 20K followers. And I was like, oh, that's sick. Or, my TikTok. And so I go to my TikTok, and I'm like looking through my clips, and that clip's on there. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if he still watches me. And so I checked... And he doesn't. And that's good. <laughs> like, probably. Because I feel like it'd be weird to watch your ex. But yeah, now I know my ex doesn't watch me, but you don't know if your ex... Okay. <laughs> it's not even fair to call this. This is my ex-boyfriend from 8th grade. Chat. If you're not familiar with what we're talking about, all right, here's the deal. 
I dated this guy named Jason, not his actual name, in eighth grade. No, that is his actual name. That's the whole point of using a fake name. His name's Jason. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> his name's Jason. So... <laughs> and he cheated on her in eighth grade. No! Don't... Okay, we don't know that. Okay, he... We dated for like eight months in eighth grade, right? Uh-huh. And... I was telling Cutie on this last podcast, like, very, it would not because I thought that he had cheated on I never thought about that in my life. I was just like, yeah, he went to band camp, and then he came back, and he broke up with me. And Cutie was like, he definitely cheated on you at band camp. Like, he definitely went to band camp, and he, he hooked up with some girl, or made out with some girl, like, some girl, and then came back and broke up with you because it was easier than telling you that he cheated on you. And then I had, like, a panic attack for the rest of the episode, this past episode, because I was like, oh, my God, did I get cheated on by Jason? When I really like Jason, I never thought I about that. I think it's crazy. I think he's a crazy boy for never calling you back. If my ex randomly called me... Oh, I'd be, yeah. I would be, like, assuming they were, like, giving me an inheritance Wait, maybe he's, like, maybe he's, like, just bogged down with guilt because he cheated on me in the eighth grade. I've been cheated on one other time, and it was in high school, and I found out because someone sent me a video of him and this girl making out on the bus. That's sick. Yeah, and she was like, haha, loser. <laughs> you deserved that. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Um, <sighs> anyway, so that's what happened, and I still don't know. And my therapist said that I need to that I need to come to terms with, with living in... Listen, living in the I've been going to therapy for years, so I'm more qualified than her. And I say we give him one more call. <laughs> <laughs> no, Just okay. One Here's more. the problem. Here's the problem. Uh-huh. With giving him one more call is that I texted him after the last podcast. And he, didn't, I was like, he didn't reply to you? Well, yes, and because I was like, just so you know, it's Maya. Like, because I gave him a call and it was just unknown number, so I was like, hey, it's, it's me, just so you know, but don't worry about the call. What if so, like, I now call he has my him. number? He's definitely not going to pick up. Someone call me a sh- friend. I am not, because I am making She's just trying to help me get closure. Money and views. Oh. Chat. I also don't even know if it's him, right? Like, what if it's not his number? It he, could not be his number. Because, I mean, it was, right, in eighth grade. But my number's different since 8th grade. My number isn't. Oh. Someone could call. I could call my... I didn't have a boyfriend in 8th grade. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I can't call my 8th grade boyfriend because I was fugly in 8th grade chat. You want to see? Actually, here. We're, we're going to pull this out later. But I did bring uh, some stuff from home, including my diary, which we're going to get to. But we're I, gonna read her. I have an diary. I have an eighth grade photo in here that I can show you guys. I was not cute. Don't look. You can't look yet. Let me find it. That's me in the cowboy hat. Oh my god. This is why I didn't have a boyfriend in eighth grade. Chat. I'm wearing shorts, by the way. Relax. Whoa. Why won't it fucking... Yeah, we're both wearing cowboy hats, but I'm in the purple. Audio listeners, I'm showing chat a picture of me wearing a cowboy hat in the eighth grade. (laughs) Because we were doing a country... a country dance. Wow. For the, uh, the, uh, eighth grade... Um, is actually our culture festival, <laughs> but for some reason, we had a country dance. Oh. I don't know why we had So, to if I called him, do that. just to, like, ask. Uh-huh. No, okay, one, he's not gonna pick up, so it doesn't uh-huh. even matter, but if he did, like, if he did pick up, and then he was like, yes. Then I would at least have confirmation. I'd be like, damn. Okay, so this is what I think we should do. I think we should call him every episode ever of Wine About It and just see until he answers. Because at some point he's going to think, he's going to accidentally think he's a telemarketer and answer. Chat. Beyond texting him that one summer when I had just started streaming back in 2019, briefly about Rocket League, I have not seen or talked to this guy That's since. That's not true. 2016. You talked to him. He didn't talk back. Okay, I texted him. <laughs> no, but I have not seen him or talked to him since 2016. Because that's when I graduated. Imagine his girlfriend, someone said. He's... I thought you said he was gay. Yeah. He's bi? He's bi. I think... 
I don't know if he's gay or bi. I don't, I don't know. I haven't talked to him since 2016. I don't know. Should I just call him? <laughs> Let's call him and figure out if he's gay or bi first. I don't think that we should do that. I mean, we should ask him. Chad, what's the worst thing? I'm actually pissed that I texted him. Because I feel like it'd be better if he was really caught off guard. And I was like, hey, it's Maya. You know? Well, you can still start with that if you want. Do you think he's going to... Let's just, like... Let's just do it once. Do you think... In the next month, too. Either way... I just chat... Okay, look. I know this is stupid. I know this... This is my boyfriend from eighth grade, right? Either this is my way, middle he's going to lie. Boyfriend. But the thing is, like, I just want to know. Cutie genuinely gave me trauma. Like, to the point where I had to talk to my therapist about it. Like, I just want to know, you know? Like, I just want to, like, get it... I just want to put it on the table. Let's just, like, put, put it, it on, on the, the table. table. I just want to put it on the table. Let's just put it on the table. Let's just call him. <laughs> just call him. It's, it's <laughs> super that, easy. Is it the wine, or does that seem like a good idea? Because I feel it's like it's never seems like a, good a good idea. It's never a good idea, but I like it. I wish I had an eighth grade boyfriend to call right now. <laughs> it's okay. He's not going to answer, and we're going to go on with our lives. It's going to be like the same as last time. Worst case, he answers, and we find out he cheated on you. Worst other case, he doesn't answer, and we call him next month. Want to chat if I should do it. <laughs> That's a lot of ones. That's a lot of ones. That's as many people that care about the wine at the beginning of the episode. Just, just... Just do it. Okay. He has a, I did, I texted him, but he didn't respond, so he I don't know He has your number, though. I know, I know, I know, I know. He'll know it's you. He'll be like, why is this fish calling me again? Again. He's got to answer. Month. He'll answer. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bad idea every time. It's the worst idea I've ever had. I'm pretty sure her phone just broke in half. <laughs> I did not think I was going to pick up. This was a bit. 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 No, 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 no. There's no chance your phone's not shattered. Really? It bounced. <laughs> I threw it really hard. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. You think he still he could still be on the phone? Right no, now? I hung up. <laughs> I hung up and I threw it. I thought you just threw it. <laughs> no, I hung up. I hung up. Wait, let's see if my phone's shattered. That would actually really Oh my god, all my cards fell out. <laughs> no, he's calling me back! <laughs> You can't answer. No, I'm you gotta answer. You gotta answer. You gotta answer. You've gotta answer. You gotta answer. You have to explain that. <laughs> he thinks you're dying. Just answer. Just answer. Act cool. Act cool. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Go, go. Act cool. <laughs> hey, sorry. Hi. Hi. How are you? I am good. Cool. <laughs> It's, dude, it's been a sec. I mean, it's been like, what, like eight years or something. Yeah, yeah nine. I don't know. It's like really long something time. like that. Yeah. So, it's, how you doing? I'm doing good. Um, in a hot tub? I'm, what? no, I'm live. I'm live uh, on Twitch right now. No, I was saying I'm in a hot tub. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Understandable. Yeah, you should. I hear your hot tub streaming is pretty popular these days, right? Yeah, it is. Um, I'm, I'm live on Twitch right now, oh. uh, and I'm doing this podcast, Oh. and, uh, <laughs> are you cool with me being live? Yeah, I don't care. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we were talking about, 
Okay, so you know how you and I dated in eighth grade for a while? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> the good old days. Yeah, I remember that. Um, the glory days. The glory days, right. Um, so, <laughs> so, so we were talking about how you... So we broke up when you went to band camp in eighth grade. Is that when we broke up? Yeah, yeah. So okay. we, you went to band camp, and then, and then you came back, and then you broke up with me. And I was telling that story on this podcast, and my friend, who you're on speaker by the way, this is Cutie. Hey, nice to meet you. Um, hi, hi, Cutie. Hello. <laughs> uh, she was like, oh, he. Uh, <laughs> she was like, oh, he cheated on you when he went to band camp, and then when he came back, he didn't want to tell you that he cheated on you, so instead. He just broke up with you. Um, so I was calling to, to ask if that was the case. You're asking me if I cheated on you in band camp in eighth grade. <laughs> well, yeah. did, did, did you? Yeah, that's what Anyways. I'm asking. We need to know. I can say confidently, I definitely didn't pull hard enough to cheat on you in band camp of all places. Uh, I, I hear people get of high school. pretty horny at band camp. I was playing the cymbals and drumline. I had wait, but you were really good at drums. Get two metal things together. No, you were so and good at I drums. Would go to sleep. You were so good. Oh, so good. Yeah, totally. So you were pulling all the bitches. All the bitches. Oh yeah. So okay, so you're admitting to cheating on me. I had to fight the urge to not cheat on me. What? <laughs> wait, what? You had to fight an urge. You wanted to cheat on me in eighth grade? No, of course not. I, th I think I don't have the best memory. I would say if I had to say what happened, I was incredibly anxious going into freshman year with a girlfriend. I was like, you know what? We just dump her, start fresh, and it's all easier. Jesus. It was probably a panic choice. Oh, damn. Do you miss her? Do you miss me? <laughs> I mean, you're rich right now, right? So. <laughs> O obligated to say yes, no? <laughs> uh, you haven't changed at all. Yep, not at all. <laughs> but yeah, I am, I am rich. You f***ed that up pretty bad. I could no, be... I look forward to coming to Austin at some point and seeing your non-profit. So. Are you flirting? Oh my god, wait, you know... <laughs> wait, you, wait, you know everything? Alvarez Sanctuary? Is that how you say it? Alvarez? Alvarez? Alvarez. Okay, it's Alvarez. I only see it on Correct. writing. Alvarez. Oh my god! Wait, I didn't- wait, do you watch my streams? Hell no, your chat is toxic. What?! Mm. No, they're not! <laughs> Alright, well, I agree to disagree. They're the best. Uh, hey, could you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. Could you describe yours and Maya's first kiss? <laughs> oh, To be completely honest, I don't remember, but I- I could tell you exactly- I think it was probably- at our middle school before a class. It was a before? We needed like a million times and we would get dropped off early and I finally got the balls to just go for it. I would imagine it was there. Oh. In between our gym and some sort of building, I don't remember what it was. Choir. Choir, yeah, yeah. It was outside the choir room. Okay, right? So am I right? Is that right? Well, I mean, you said, like, you got the balls to just do it, and it wasn't, I don't think it was really like that. I mean, we were, we were outside the choir room, and we had texted about this it. This is why you guys broke up. And oh, we're like, shit. yeah, our communication's okay, yeah, really bad. Right. <laughs> it's just, back to the good old days. Um, we had texted about it, and we were like, okay, we should kiss, right? Wow. So then we were outside the choir room, and then I was against the wall at the choir room, oh, and you were, and you were leaning over me, and you... And we were talking to each other. We were like, I was like, you just have to do, by the way, I'm calling you Jason for this podcast. So like your name's Jason. I was like, Jason, just do it. And then you were like, no, you do it. I don't know what to do. And I was like, you're the boy. Like oh, you so have to I do it. it so you uh, had to force me to be the man. Uh -oh. Yeah. And then, and sexist. then you that went for it. Very and then you sexist. went for it. And we like slammed faces and my, the back of the head, the back of my head hit the wall. Probably got some metal. I think you had braces at the time. Correct? I think we both did. <laughs> no, I never had braces. Really? Oh. Okay, I had braces. It then. just felt like it because yeah, so. was so bad. 
Maybe it was that. I'll probably just blame it on you. I say I was perfect on my first attempt. This is why we broke up. Hey. Whoa. He sounds. We he broke sounds. Up because I was full of potential options from band camp, of course. Oh, I mean, you were the best. Uh, he true. was the best drummer. I've been told I was the best you've ever had. What? <laughs> Who told you that? Sean. Sean, <laughs> wait. Realize. Sean. Yep. Like, <laughs> you're with Sean. Yeah, I mean, my let's let's be perfectly honest here. Like, you couldn't do better than Connor. Sean! Oh, <laughs> oh he, he corrected the Jason, by the way. Also from middle school. Also from middle school. Chat, his name's Jason. Don't even Sean, worry about that. Don't even worry about Sean, that. Sean, now tell them about our first kiss, you and me. What? Remember? You ever kissed cutie, Sean? <laughs> not yet. Oh, he said not yet. <laughs> okay, alright, never mind. Sorry, Sorry Ludwig. <laughs> no, I was... <laughs> Oh my god! I was trying you're, to make you're it like in wait, there. Wait, 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 I was trying wait. to make it like a wait. Uh, a, uh, wait. <laughs> I was trying to make it a thing. You know. Do you watch Twitch? Vaguely, sometimes. Who do you watch? I don't really. Uh, I watch a lot of Shroud in like college. Oh my god. Oh, Shroud is my biggest fan. So I killed Shroud sense. in Fortnite yeah. the other Honestly, day. Honestly, big moment when you auctioned off an hour of Shroud, I was like, oh, that's kind of sick, to be honest. Oh, yeah, and then Ludwig bought it. and then. Did he ever, like, use it, though? I feel like... No, Shroud's... Shroud really didn't want to hang out with him. Yeah, it makes sense. You watch my streams. <laughs> I really don't, to be completely honest. You do, you're obsessed with me. You no miss me so much. Chat. I don't like you very much. Like, we just have different tastes. I mean, like, I don't know about that. I think, I think that you're obsessed with me. What? Imagine still watching your ex-girlfriend's oh, stream nine years this later. Is, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Wait, you say again? Talk about how many times she called you. Stream nine years later. Yeah, she, she called you uh, for the record. Unlucky. Unlucky. Okay. Um, so... Uh, I feel like I have so many questions. This is so crazy. What What do you have to ask him? I don't know. Wait, so you didn't cheat on me? I did not cheat on you. No. Unfortunately. It would have been a better story. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah, it would have been a good story. Oh, are you are you gay or bi? I'm bi. Okay. Um, Not as fun. I guess more fun. It's definitely more fun. Can't yeah, remember. it's way more fun. Yep. Okay, I think that's all I got. Wow, struck you, so many questions. But that's all I got. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know what else to oh, ask. No, you. It's fine. I feel like I have so many questions, but I don't even know what to say, dude. It's been it's been so long. I feel that. How's Rocket League? <laughs> Rocket League is an awful game, and I've uninstalled it. Oh. It. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, fair enough. Do you have any questions for me or Cutie or its stream? Uh, yeah, you're rich. When are you flying me out to see all the cute animals in Acero? I feel like Acero and I are like long lost buddies. We deserve that reunion. You remember my horse's name? How can I not? I was so f this afraid is, of that horse. Dude. This is romantic. I'll say it. I feel. Oh my god. I should leave the room. Wow. All right. Wow. Okay. I'm actually impressed. That's not an easy name to remember. Good for you. Thanks? Question mark? <laughs> she would love to see you at Alvius soon, though. Yeah, as long as you buy the flight, I'm down. I'm rich. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, buy the flight. Yeah, there. yeah. Okay. Well, um... Jason? Sean? Nice to... I love, I love how he doesn't get a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> well, you leaked it first, so... Uh, yeah, but then he... Mine. Like, what am but I also, like, do? Sean doesn't really have any. I mean, I don't know that me and Sean were ever friends. I mean, oh, oh, was that me? Oh wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean it like that. Oh I just, my no, no, I just mean, like, no, we never hung out. Like, we never hung out. Oh, she's I heard you were so family from the streamer, but turns out you're just a just mean, mean woman. Oh. Call her a bitch. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> wait, who's that? Who's the third one? That was Sean. That was Sean. Yeah. Sean, admit we were never friends in high school. We never hung out. 
Oh yeah, not in high school. That's not fair. We went. Yeah. To, he went to a different high school. Like it's hard. Wait, so I was barely friends with him in high school. Yeah. Were we? We weren't friends in middle school either. Uh, Maya, we hung out every, like almost every day. You, me, Connor, Trevor, and Anna. <gasps> oh no! Oh my God, you're so right. Yeah. Like, oh, you're, you're mean. You're a mean girl. Oh my god, you're so right. I'm so sorry. She's mean. Wait, I actually forgot about that. You're an L friend. True, L friend. L friend. Oh no. Are you gonna forget me? Probably. That's f***ed up, Maya. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, how about we all f Maya and light Albius on whoa, fire? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, no, no, not like no, no, no. you, like you like, like this you we all hate you <laughs> okay all right this has been an, this has been an excellent Not that i'm so sorry this, I'm sorry this Danny. is so weird this is like actually like the weirdest thing ever i just so random i'm sorry I, I got my balance. No problem. but you know this is a really important closure but if you're lying to me and i find out you're done first of all how would you find out second of all Offensive that you think I'm lying. I mean, how would you find around. out? Was very incriminating. Ask around. Who are you gonna find from our middle school that has that kind of knowledge? Sean is right here. <laughs> Sean, vouch. Sean. Sean, listen, I trust Sean, you. Sean, did Jason cheat on me in eighth grade? Um, we did have sex in the band. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Uh, Mikey, I can't confirm. I'm My one true love. <laughs> that. Is it all makes sense. A whole new twist. Wow. It all makes sense. Yep. That is a lot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, this has been great. Um, I'm glad you guys are still hanging out. That is bizarre. It's so chill. I don't hang out from with anybody from. Well, that's it's like, not bizarre. I lived with. Uh, I lived with some people we went to middle school with and college. Honestly. Learning. Really. Right. Yeah, two people that have already been mentioned, honestly. I'll tell you later. Oh. So oh. Yeah. Spoil, like, people's identities, I guess. No, my identity. Since, I mean, well. <laughs> my <Jokes> identity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Wow, well, neat. Okay. All right, well, yeah, okay, thank you for this not cheating This was fun. Me. This was fun catching yeah, up. no problem. I've been through I lots of, of turmoil. You. I'll be waiting to hear when my ticket is confirmed. Okay. He really uh, wants to hang out. Okay, I'll let you know. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's been up to four tickets. Uh, one person you've ever met, but I can vouch. Great guy. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Four tickets. You guys are all coming to Austin. Yeah, we'll put let's the Let's actually in let's at the bring sanctuary. Jason to LA and have him on the podcast. <laughs> you guys want to come to LA? LA? That's like a fucking seven-hour drive versus a couple hours. No, all right, we'll all right. We'll sorry. fly you. We'll fly you. We'll fly you. We're rich. You're flat. You guys trying to go to L.A.? Yeah. <laughs> I have a sure, a yeah, and yeah. yeah. Okay. And a yeah. Okay, cool. Great. We'll have you on the pod. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're going to have to buy, like, eight times as much wine if you have us on, by the way. Okay. Are you guys drunk okay. right now? Uh, yeah, it's just Sunday. Sundays are fun days, right? Okay, Sundays, Sundays, Sundays are, are fun days. days. Sundays are fun days. Okay, Um. cool. So you didn't cheat on me. I didn't cheat on you. Yeah. You ended our relationship she did cheat on and her. broke my heart yeah. because Sunday. you wanted to go pursue other women in high school and leave me behind, which is totally cool. Whoa, whoa, like, whoa, we're whoa. totally Wait good. No, we're, like, totally there, on the same page. Down like that, I think that's <laughs> great. I'm just really glad, you know, to have that closure. Thank you so much. Hey, you went on to pursue some admirable men by yourself. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 no. oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought he was like my best friend, but whatever. Like, oh! <laughs> who was your best friend? Wait, don't do not say. Do his not name. say his name. You Wait, know, you know exactly who I'm talking about. You've told like, Patrick Star. Patrick Star. That's the best analogy you can get. Oh my God! Don't come on. <laughs> First of all, I didn't even want that to happen. Okay. Second many, of all, it only it was two months. How many <laughs> homies do you have to hop to be a homie hopper? You Wait, broke up what? with me? I fuck your homies. Well, I feel like that's fair. <laughs> I feel like that's fair. Is that not fair? Fair, fair is fair. Fair is fair. It is fair. Shut up. That's crazy. If it makes you feel any better, I, I never even fucked your homie. But I did date him for a couple months. 
poor guy, poor guy. I didn't even know that. I could have, like, benefited a doubt at least. Like, that that's you know? tough. That is tough. That is tough. That is tough. That is tough. Anyway, okay. Well, good talk. All right. Nice, nice to hear from you guys again. You sound the exact same except puberty, right? So that's cool. Congrats on that. I that makes sense. Yeah, congrats to you too, I guess. Like, what am I supposed to say about my for, for being rich, thank you. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, hey, all I'll, right. te I'll text you my Venmo, you know, if you're feeling charitable. I know you run a non-profit, so. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Guys, if you use your Twitch also Prime now, it'll go towards <laughs> Jason's <laughs> bank account. <laughs> all right, have fun, you guys. It was, it was nice to talk to you. Fun, Sorry, uh, it was so yeah. random. It was nice talking to you. All right, yeah. peace. Uh, Peace. I learned a lot from that call. Apparently Sean doesn't even remember mine and his relationship. <laughs> it's really messed up. Number I'm one. sorry. What the... F Danny, I'm sorry. What the f*** just happened? That's a lot of primes. You have to give... You have to give... Jason, at least five dollars, at least ten dollars. I think you got a lot of primes. Oh wow, at least eleven dollars. I chat. I legitimately have not talked to him since twenty sixteen. That's cool. That is. I don't think any of my exes would answer. That was crazy. And that other guy, Sean. Like we we legitimately we went to middle school together, and they're still hanging out, and they were in the same place. I just talked to Sean. You changed. You're the only one that changed. Y you're li you're actually right. Wait, wow, I didn't know that he was mad about me dating that guy. Well, it's it all, was his it's friend. All, it's all coming out now. It yeah. was his friend. Why would you date his friend like that? That was crazy. That That's, you dated that, his friend? I agree. No, that call was crazy. I agree. I didn't even want to date his friend. Oh, what happened? My, his friend and I were best friends. Uh-huh. And then he wanted to date me, and I didn't want to stop uh, being his friend. Oh, yeah, I hate when that happens. I had one of those, actually. I think I did start liking him at some point while we were dating, but not at the beginning. I didn't even want that. And then I got him suspended for harassment. It didn't end up well, okay? Like, it didn't what? go How well. How did you do that? He yelled at me in math class. I ran out crying, and then he got suspended. What did he yell at you for? Something really bad. What was it? It was really bad. You have to say. No, I can't. I actually can't. Um, but he, yeah, he, like, stood up and, and, like, yelled something at the teacher. And then it was, like, very targeted. And then I got up and I, I ran out of the classroom crying. What the heck? Yeah. And I, like, yeah. And, and I, I went to this other teacher and I was like, this happened. And then, and then he got suspended. And then I started dating a different guy. Uh -huh. And then he egged that guy's house. They're saying you've said it before. You've heard it before? You said it last podcast? Why don't I remember? This is the hard thing about drinking on podcasts. Dude, true. Is sometimes okay, wait, I don't hold remember on. what I story. Ca I cannot believe that I just, that I just talked to those You to did those just guys. Call, talk to them. That was crazy. You did do that. But also, like, he watches my streams. He was saying he didn't. But, like, he knows that I auctioned off... He knows about the nonprofit here. Well, he remembers Asero's name because he knew Asero, right? I've had Asero since I was... Since since middle school, but like, that was romantic. I think he that misses you. That is crazy. He also, misses you. Was he flirting with me? Like, yeah. What on earth was that? What's going on? Love is for the way you look at me. That was crazy. Oh, is you're the only one. Wow. Jason C. That is so crazy. Um. He's definitely watching right now. He definitely is. Why are they saying way too dank? It's fine. Okay. He definitely is. Man, that is so weird. Imagine, chat. Like, imagine just, like, calling somebody from middle school and just, like, having a conversation. It didn't even feel awkward, too. It was just such a normal conversation. Yeah. But there you have it, chat. I don't think that he cheated on me, or he didn't, or unless he was lying. Do you think you that he what? was lying? I don't think he was lying. I don't think he was lying, either. I think he wasn't lying. He was really nice. Yeah, he seemed he legit. He seemed like a good time. So, I guess I was wrong. I'll say it. I was wrong, Maya. You gave me trauma for a whole month for no reason. I wasted precious hours with That's what friends are for. Trauma. Wow. I have a... 
I think, I think, okay, I don't know. Uh, let me get your read on this. I don't know if my last boyfriend cheated on call me. Call him. Don't. We can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't not call that one. You really cannot call that one. Yeah, definitely not. Um, but let me give you the situation. I can't believe that. Sorry. No, that you're okay. So you're going weird. through a lot. I also, th I Let's threw unload. my phone. I threw. I, I forgot got, about that. I freaked out. I hung up and I threw it. I feel so bad. He called me back. I don't. He must have thought that the call dropped or something. I th threw that. Yeah. Shit. It didn't crack. No. If an ex ever called me, I would think that their tire popped or they really needed someone. Cause I would answer. For the record. I would always answer. Like if anybody needs anything, I will literally always answer. Yeah. No. Same. If any of my ex called me, I'd be like, even the one that I got suspended, I'd be like, yeah, you good. Someone's saying call what? Say what? Hey. Um, yeah, that was nice of him to answer. I don't think I have an eighth grade. Well, I didn't have an eighth grade boyfriend. My earliest boyfriend. I, you know what? My, I had a kind of cringe interaction with my, my high school boyfriend. Otherwise, I could call him. But my last, the last time I called him was on the Raj show. That's how long it was. Wow. Yeah, because people didn't believe a story I was telling about me being a psychopath in high school. They didn't believe it. I okay. kept capping. So I said, all right, I'll call him. And I called him mm -hmm. on stream. I wasted that content on a Raj show. <laughs> that guy doesn't even exist anymore. Can you imagine? But now I feel like I can't, like, bother him. I'm sure he'd, he was, he's really sweet. I'm sure he'd be fine, but I don't know. Yeah. But Wait, you, so what was that story? Why'd you call him? Oh, I don't know. It was, it was a story for another day. But I'm just saying I can't call my can't call him i cannot believe that that was biz that was crazy that was so weird you guys could like hang out now yeah i can hang out with all of them like they're all still hanging out yeah that's awesome that is so fun i love that <laughs> i love that i do love that i love that um okay here's my are you ready mm -hmm. okay here's my potential maybe i got cheated on story when I really, I don't know. And I also don't know if it counts as cheating. It doesn't count as cheating because I kind of gave him permission. Okay. So what happened Wait, was. What? I know. I'm going to explain. He was, he was, this was like my longest relationship I've ever had. Okay. This guy. It was probably my most serious, longest relationship. Okay. Um, he was going to a bachelor party. And we had been together long enough that I was like, you can have a hall pass. Like just kind of like joking around. Like, just because he's like... What do you mean we've been together long enough that I was like, yeah. I don't know. That I, like, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling jealous. I was just like, whatever, you can have a hall pass. Like, kind of like joking around. Okay. okay. Like, I, I don't, and I, this is my problem is I don't know if this was taken seriously or if this was joking. I'm open this window. Or if I'm just copium that it was joking. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you guys can still I don't me. know. I know chat, question mark, check, question mark, Ooh. question mark. But he kept like jokingly saying like, oh, it's going to be a crazy weekend. And I'm like, do whatever you want. Like, is what I would say. I would say, do whatever you want. I think that's what I said. I don't that think That is I'd... not giving him permission. That's not explicit enough. Not okay. Close. Well, what happened was, there's this one night where him and all the boys went to a bar, and, uh, and he, like, stopped texting me. And I was okay. like, okay. And he always calls me before bed, and he didn't call me. And I was like, that was weird. And, uh, then, like, the next day, they go on a boat, because I think his, I think the... Bachelor party was in San Francisco. What? He said, I, I texted him, I said, thank you. And he said, not joking, buy me a ticket and I'll come. He wants to hang out. <laughs> um, he's, he's in chat saying. <laughs> um, oh my god. Okay. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. focus okay, so the focus. next day they go on a boat, blah, blah, blah. He comes home, and I'm talking to him, and he like he's telling me about his weekend at the bachelor party. And I'm like, oh, what happened that night at the bar? And instead of, like, a normal person being like, oh, I got drunk and went home, he, like, goes on this long... If, detailed rant. Yeah, detailed rant that just felt like a lie. Like, instead of just being like, oh, we all, I got too drunk, my phone died, we went home. Okay, you know. He started saying, he starts saying, 
he's like, oh, yeah, so we were at this club. It was really cool. And all the guys went home, but then I stayed because there was this bartender there that used to be in the Navy. And he started telling me Navy stories, and I just thought his life was so fascinating. So I sat there and I listened to them, and we did, I just lost track of time, and it just went on for hours, and then I was so hungover the next day. And I was like, that was the most sus, like... <laughs> Was he in Am a, I wait, crazy? Was he like a Marine or was he in no. Army at all? No, he's, uh, he's, he's in like the medical industry. Uh, yeah. It was just, there was just something. Yeah, wait, where was he? San Francisco. Okay. Mm -mm. Any, and it was on a weekend. Yeah. No bartenders in San Francisco can just sit there and tell you about their life in the Navy. They're working, they're moving. That that's that that makes no sense. If it was like in like Minnesota, you know, at some random bar on a on a Tuesday, yeah. But SF on the weekend is popping. There's no way. Yeah, I don't know if he cheated, but I don't think he did that. But it is the one time of. But you didn't ask. You didn't clarify. I didn't know. Because I, like, I just oh. didn't want to be that crazy girl that was right, like, right, that right. sounds sus. Did you cheat on me? Yeah. I didn't. So I just moved on. Um, but yeah, that's the one time. That's the one time that I think maybe it's a little, it's a little sus. It's a little sus. No, she's not calling sausage. him. This is not a precedent. This is not, this okay, is not a understand, call Understand, this call, for what it was, went exceptionally well. <laughs> I mean, it should not, uh, that, that should not have been like that. that. That was like the cringiest thing ever. That could have been so bad. Could have been so bad. This is not something that we're doing on the podcast. It's not a thing. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. That's like a maybe, but he's also a man, so he probably cheated on you. <laughs> it's out of his character, though, because he's very quiet, but also I know when he would lie, and he'd always lie by telling just, like, too telling much too details much. where I'm yeah. like, what? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, he was definitely hiding something, but I don't know what it was. Maybe he just, like, did some drugs that he didn't want me to know about. For some reason, I get annoyed. Tell me if this is just me. I get annoyed when people do drugs and they just don't tell me. No, for sure. I, I don't care that. if they do the drugs, but just, like, tell I agree. me. I agree. I've had, I've had boyfriends like that. And I, they don't want to tell me because they think I'm going to be upset because I'm pretty straight edge. Yeah. But it's just, like, no, it's, it's like, fine. Like, if you want to do that, it would just, like, you know, just, like, let me know. Because it's, like, if I'm someone, if you and I were at a club right now doing drugs, I would probably text Ludwig and be, like, yo, I'm about to do some drugs. Or I'm really drunk. Or I'm getting drunk. Or I'm smoking weed. I would do that, too. Wait, let's talk about drugs. Chat. I'm going to Coachella. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's going to Coachella. I'm going to Coachella. And I'm going with a bunch of normies. I'm, I'm not going with any streamers. There are going to be streamers there. But I'm not going with any streamers. I'm There's a lot of normies. streamers going, I've noticed, on Twitter. Yeah, like, they've all been talking Minx about it. and Myth and... Pokey I saw Pokimane and... tweet. I, th I saw Quarter Jade tweet about it. Yeah, but, th but I'm not going with streamers. I'm going with normies. And they're all going to be on drugs. And I'm not going to take drugs, and here's why. And tell me if this is stupid. Because I understand that, like... No, you know what? Here's, here's my take on, on doing drugs. I can't afford to die. I have way too much going on. <sighs> Dead eye, like I, I have this nonprofit. I have, I have like employees to manage. I, if, if something bad happened to me when I was taking drugs, uh -huh. if it was laced or something, I'm also, I just hit a hundred pounds, and I'm like very sensitive to alcohol and nicotine and everything, right? If I took drugs, and it put me in the hospital, or it killed me, I have a whole nonprofit to leave behind, and I haven't written a will, and I feel like that's just so irresponsible and so not worth the night. And is that me being like, is that me being really cringe and really strange? No, I would say you sound like Hermione Granger right, right. now. That do was I like, sound really <laughs> dumb? Like, do I sound really like boring? we can't die? We'll get expelled. That's what I'm saying. Is like yeah. if I, I I cannot afford to die right now. I have way too much. I, I have no. I, have way too many I think I think it's fine to care more about your responsibilities than a night on drugs. I think that's like responsible. Because my thing is, is I care more about my mental health than drugs. Because I just think that drugs will ruin my mental health. And my mental right. health is already so bad that yeah. that's why I don't do drugs. So yeah. you're just putting your responsibilities first. I truly, like, if drugs, if I knew it was 100% safe, like, I, I go out, like, I, I'm, like, high for a couple hours, then I come back, no risks, like, all chill, whatever, great. But I... I, I don't 
know that. Like, I don't know who's testing the drugs that everybody's taking. Yeah, you, just, you like, don't know where you're getting the drugs. Plus, I, I feel like the, the real issue about, like, Coachella and drugs... We're not talking about weed, chat. Yeah, we're talking about, like, Molly. Yeah. Um, we're talking about ecstasy. We're talking about, like, drugs. The issue about Coachella and doing drugs is you do one drug. Yeah. And you're, like, having fun. And then you meet sketchy guy that's like do you want some more of this and you're just like not thinking straight and you're like sure that sounds fun or like you know he talks you into it but then that's laced with something so i don't even i don't even think the i don't think the number one issue is the molly you take with your friends i think it's what that can lead to that's like uh oh yeah i don't know i could be cringe i'm afraid of drugs so don't look at me i just also, and this is kind of beyond me, and this is probably not a good reason to not do drugs, but if something bad happened, uh-huh. which I understand it's, like, a very low percentage chance of it uh-huh. happening, but, like, if, if I died, like, because of doing drugs at Coachella, uh-huh. how fucking embarrassing. Like, how <laughs> embarrassing for me to, for me to build this streaming thing, to found a nonprofit, to be, like, like, to do everything that I've done, and to go to Coachella and do ecstasy and die... Yeah, that like, would... And then everyone's like, oh, yeah, she died. She OD'd at Coachella. Like, with would everything you, I've would done, Would you want to be cremated, so... though? Because uh... if you got cremated, I'd put your little urn right here, and I'd have an episode. That would be so funny. <laughs> we, Cutie and I talked about this. We literally talked about this with Coachella, because I was talking to her, and I was like, everyone's going to do drugs at Coachella. Should I do drugs? And she was like, you should, because if you died, I'd be so much funnier. I'd and be I was so like, funny. you are so right. Imagine my mom and my only friend dying. The jokes that Cutie <laughs> could make if I died would be so <sighs> funny. She'd be so funny. I'd be like, good luck, Chuck, but of death. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Yeah, and she knows I would love that. I would love it. If literally, if yeah. it was sitting right here, it'd sit right here. It'd be so. Oh my god, it'd be so. And funny. I'd be like, Maya, call Jason. And then I wouldn't answer. I'd elbow her, and then she'd fall over, and pfft. and you'd be like, Maya, you're, I'd be like, ugh, you're gross. You're, Get out of my mouth. Yeah, you're gross. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, don't die at Coachella. I'm not it's going to Coachella. It's just not worth. It's just not worth the drug. I'll drink. I'll get hammered at Coachella for sure. But I, it's just like I don't know. It's not worth the risk for for a night of fun. I just have way too much going on. I like the lineup at Coachella. I genuinely think I used to love concerts. I really, really did. I my I had a dream to go to Coachella one day, and I was too poor always. And now that I have the money to go to Coachella, I have a I have a disabling or dehabilitating fear of large gatherings. Oh. So now I can't go. Because I was in Vegas during right, the shooting. Right, I invited Cutie to Coachella and she wouldn't yeah. come. She doesn't want to come. I was in Vegas during the country music festival shooting and that... That was wild. Up. Um, I'm kind of scared of Coachella. I, young, so Jeff, yeah. young Jeff told me that I was going to get... He said, you're going to get recognized at Coachella more than you've ever been recognized collectively in your life. Which is concerning because what I'm wearing to Coachella is... I, I would never wear it on stream. <laughs> so I'm scared about taking pictures It's of actually people. crazy because it's not even that bad. I know. You've seen it. Yeah. I've, sent, I've sent her my Coachella outfit Yeah. Too, and it's not even... But I would it's never wear it on bad. stream. Compared and to... If I was your size, I'd be f- half naked at Coachella. I'm not half naked. But I would never wear it on stream. And I, I just... I feel like I'm going to take pictures with people. And then they're going to post it. And people are going to be like, Oh, Maya's a... Meh. 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 What are you going to do? That's my, be- my best duck noise. Who's is better, chat? Cutie and I saw birds today. Well, actually, we didn't, but we, no, had we, to pretend. Didn't. we had to pretend like we did because the photographer told us to look away from the camera. Mine is better than yours. I knew it. Thanks, chat. Anyway. Um, so I'm not going to do drugs at Coachella, but I will get drunk. Um, I there's a there's an ounce of old me that has no anxiety that wishes I was going to Coachella, but unfortunately, anxiety brain is more powerful. You can come; it's gonna be sick. I actually, I probably couldn't come. They're definitely probably sold out at this point. No, everybody's selling their. Really? Yeah, you could buy a Coachella ticket right now. I really want to see Billie Eilish chat. You know what's weird? My flight out there to get there is like less than two hundred dollars. My flight back, seven hundred. Whoa, it's a scam. They know that it's Coachella. You know what else is a scam? Is LAX. Oh, God. Okay? LAX. <laughs> I fly into LAX once a month. It is so garbage. You don't... Here, let me tell you Let me tell you what happens when you land in LAX. Okay. 
you land. There's people everywhere. It's it's everywhere. Like such a crowded airport. Wait, there's what? Can we have? Can we open another bottle? Do we finish that? Yeah, it's gone. Oh my god! Or, no, we've had a whole bottle of wine. We always have t- about two bottles. Should we finish the the no, white we do one? Do not. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Also, can we film Omegle tomorrow? No. Huh. We have to do it when we're drunk and we're in here. What do you mean? I hate that. What? I hate when you guys oh talk god. to us on Omegle. Get, oh my god! Don't say that. Okay, um, we'll just drink this white that I opened for the photo shoot. This. Can we order McDonald's? She really wants spicy nuggets. Yeah, you can order McDonald's. I saw a billboard for spicy nuggets today. Okay, sorry, finish your story. LAX. LAX, okay. Yeah. Horrible. You land, there's people everywhere. It's awful, right? And then... And then... You didn't finish your red. You're mixing the white with your red. It's a splash. It's like a pink now. Mix mine. It's a rosé. We're making rosé. Is this how you make rosé? I actually don't know, but Um, yours looks like rosé. Mine doesn't look as much like rosé. That doesn't look very good. It's not good. Wait, I should have, I should have drank it. It's all cheap wine, chat. So anyway, um, there's people everywhere at LAX, right? And when you go, when you exit the airport, you can't just get an Uber because it's so impacted. You have to get on a shuttle that takes you to this fat parking lot <laughs> where you can get an Uber. I don't know why I felt sensitive that you called the parking lot fat. I you was like, that's really not nice. Relax. Seriously. <laughs> You, it, you get in a shuttle that takes you to a parking lot so that you can get an Uber. Okay? Ugh. I took a shuttle today. There are so many people waiting for the shuttles so that they can get Ubers that it took, like, probably three shuttles to get everyone in there. So you're, like, pushing your way to get on this shuttle because they come every ten minutes to take you to the parking lot. Then you try to drive to the parking lot. You get stuck in traffic on your way to the parking lot. It takes 15 minutes to get from the airport to the parking lot where you can pick up an Uber, and then you get out of the car, or you get out of the shuttle to get an Uber, and the Ubers are scams. You know what I do at LAX? This is a, this is a trick for all of you. If anybody flies into LAX, you walk to the Marriott, okay? It's two miles away. You gotta walk two miles, but I'm telling you, my Ubers from LAX, $300 for an Uber at LAX. And if you walk to the Marriott, they think that they're picking you up from a hotel instead of LAX. It's less than half as much. Less than, it, it is over, fi- I think it's like 60 or 70% less if you get picked up from the hotel. Maya, this wine is really gross. It's really not good. It's really but bad. Mine is different. Mine is mixed with red, so it might be different. But anyway... Never get it, never, 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 never get an Uber straight from LAX because I don't know if the drivers are capable of doing that upcharge or what, but they absolutely scam you. You walk two miles out, you're gonna lose, I mean, you're gonna lose like 30 minutes, right? But like, just go for a little walk, okay? Get an Uber from somewhere else, it's less than half as much. Connor Eats Pants taught me about that. Very important. But LAX is the worst airport I've ever been. Until I've ever. everybody starts walking to the Marriott because you just told 20,000 people to walk to the Marriott. And the, as they should. Uber needs to learn. Uber is a disaster. Yeah, it is. Did you participate in r slash place? No. I, I literally have never cared about anything less in my life. Oh. Okay. You know what content I've been doing recently that's been loads of fun? What? I made Sims. Yes. And it's been great. What I, am I, my, my, my Sim is your in Sim love with is Will Neff. in love with Will Neff. They kiss sometimes, I believe. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's really gross, I know. That is foul. It's the worst wine. Yeah, I don't think we can drink it. I think we literally need to open a new bottle. This is Napa Valley Chardonnay. Why it's is it bad? Re- it's so sweet. I think that's it. We produce 113 barrels of 2019 Chardonnay. Okay, we'll produce like 112 less. Jesus Christ. It's really gross. Bright tropical stone fruit flavor, subtle French oak, creamy texture, all in balance with fragrant and floral pear, melon, and mineral notes. We think this is a textbook example of this novel, noble <laughs> variety grown in our outstanding Napa Valley vineyards. Did you like reading that? Let me know why. 
I was hoping you'd be like, yeah. And then I'll be like, oh, you love the wine moment of the month. See, told you. But instead you said no. So. So we're going to miss. <laughs> so never mind. Wait, let me try to, hold on. Um, bright tropical and stone fruit flavor, French oak and creamy texture, fragrant and floral pear. I feel like it fragrant gave. Fragrant and floral pear. I feel like it gave me an insta headache is the issue. They are on crack. It's really bad. Straight up, these people are on drugs. The, I mean, are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I'm actually trying. It's try really here, bad. Let me separate them. Hold on. Wait, try here. This Tropical. is just this is just white wine right here. Tell me, okay? <sighs> no, that that wasn't that wasn't a bit. Try it just plain. It's tell actually me, so. Tell this me is the that worst you saw in my face, in my, my gag reflex just now. I can my gag. I legitimately reflex almost off. just gagged right there. Also, oh, I made a friend at the bar last night. Total normie. Never met her in my life. Huge was sick. She offered to stick her fingers down my throat so that I could throw up. Yeah, Maya told me this today, and I told Maya I would never do that. She said she would never do that for me. I wouldn't, because I would, th I'd listen, the minute I do it, I'd be like, mm, and then I'd be like, Bleh, and then we'd both be throwing she up. She would throw up. I would not throw up. If I had to stick my fingers down Cutie's throat, I wouldn't throw up. You know who does that is Minx. The last she time- She sure would do that. Yeah, she would, last, she would like enjoy it and like eat it or something. Yeah, she's crazy. I, the last time, so the last time I got French drunk- French oak and creamy texture, hold on. It's not good. Even plain, it's really not good. It's, it's, I, we can't drink this bottle. This is the worst wine I've had in my life. It's really bad. Um, last time I was drunk, I went to a gay club and I got really, really drunk and I was throwing up and I stole a bottle of tequila from the bar. Well, I didn't steal it. We bought it, but then no one finished it and had all this left, and so I just yoinked it and threw it up my dress. Um, and I started throwing up in Minx's room, and Minx kept asking me if she... She was like, do you need help? I'll put my finger up your throat. And I was like, what? I, I have... To, have you ever done that? You've never done that? What? I put my own finger up my throat. No, in, in your friends? No. Oh, I've done that. Oh. One time... Actually, I didn't actually do it, but I did almost put my, my fingers up my friend's vagina, but that's because... She was going to get an IUD, and she had these numbing pills that she had to put up against her cervix. Yeah. And so, but she couldn't get them all the way up to her cervix, so I... I, I would rather have it. a friend help me with something with my vagina than my, than my mom. Like, I had a friend that lost a tampon in her vagina, and she had to have her mom come help her. And I would rather have a friend. My sister offered to help me the first time I had to put on a tampon. That's nice of her. I panicked so hard. And then I had to lay on the floor, and I was having a panic attack, and my sister was like, do you want me to come put it in? And I was like, absolutely not. Yeah, that sounds awful. Yeah, no. The first time I had to use a tampon, because I refused for so long, because they kind of hurt. I don't Tampons think... are... If you use a tampon before you've had fingers or anything up in there, it it's hurts. traumatic. It, it is hurts traumatic. really bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine now. I don't feel a tampon anymore. Right. Um, but I remember as a kid, when I first started my period, I never used tampons, and I had to, because we were going on a lake trip. And I used a tampon, and then we went on the jet skis, and I've never felt a greater pain in my life. Oh, you did Than, not. like, the tampon, and then, like, bumping on the... Oh, my gosh. It was so bad. That it makes you... The tough. first time you use a tampon, you want to pass out. It hurts so bad. Yeah, that is tough. That um, is tough. Anyway. Have you ever done... <laughs> no, I haven't. Genuinely. Um Because cool. I'm always constipated. <laughs> Oh, well. So I think I would just, like, poop all over everything. That would be really sh But. <laughs> <laughs> a good one, Maya. Thanks. Um, but clearly you have, so tell us about it. Um, I don't really want to. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I brought that so up. So you brought up for me to tell you about my experience, but you don't want to share your experience. I mean, it's fine. I've never, I, I've never, like, pooped all over somebody, which is good. From, okay, so I, like, I, I've told this before, how I used to work with a lot of gay men. Mm -hmm. um, like, 99% of, I was the only straight person there. And they would tell me about, like, how they would prep for sex, and it's a lot of work. Did you do all the work, or did you just do it? What do you mean like, all if the work? you're doing it correctly, you need to, like, douche your asshole, you need to, like, take oh laxatives, God. clean it all out. No. <sighs> Maya, you messy, of... messy, messy. It's just a lot of lube. Just That's a lot of lube. Yeah. Ow. No, it's really not that bad. 
No way is it not that bad. It's not that bad. It's actually kind of sick. It's not that bad. What do you mean kind of sick? It's kind of sick. Like enjoyable? <laughs> yeah. If you do, not, But not if you f*** it up. How do you Because f- by doing it too fast, genuinely, it like it, it is like some of the most severe pain I've ever felt in my life. If you, you do it too fast. Why? People have talked about that. Like when they, when they do it on accident, when they make a mistake, right? Or when it happens on accident, some of the worst pain. So I, there was this girl in high school, shout out, I was going to say her name. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Ashley, there's a fake name. Wait, I have a girl from high school too to talk with this story. Oh, really? Yeah. Shout out Ashley. Ashley was a, the school harlot, per se. Like, she would just make out with everybody. And she was super hot. She's also, like, crazy now and started an OnlyFans. But not that you have to be crazy to start an OnlyFans. Like, genuinely went crazy, started quoting little Wayne raps, like, regularly for, like, all of her Instagram captions and then started OnlyFans. Okay. She's little Cuckoo Cabana. Link? Um, I subscribed, of course, as soon as it came Did out. You I was like, genuinely? Yeah. I wondered, I was like, I want to know. I've never subbed to an OnlyFans. Yeah, I subbed. I wanted to know. I didn't want to know what Ashley was working with, and it looked My cousin less impressive OnlyFans. than I thought. Oh. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was like, she was the hottest girl in high school, genuinely, the hottest girl in high school. And she's still gorgeous. And I was just kind of like, like, I think you set, like, these weird, unrealistic expectations of hot right. girls, yeah, and yeah. then I saw her body, and I was like, oh, that's normal. Right. So it wasn't that it was bad. It was just like, oh, she's got a normal body. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then I didn't resub, um, but I hope she liked the $5 for the month I did. That's really nice. Um, yeah. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So senior year, it was, it was like she would, like, hook up with people for the sake of, like, the shock factor, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So senior year, she was, like, there was no more shock factor. So then she had with this, like, starter on the basketball team that was, like, this huge guy. He was, like, mind you, she was, like, Maya's size. And this guy was, like, friggin' 6'5 in high school. And so she, she does it with him. And then Rosebud's her asshole. What is that? It's when you have incorrectly, so it pulls out some of your internal and oh, now you're absolutely ass- not. Your asshole is now a rosebud. I told you guys, it, it's no joke, dude. If you do it wrong, it is no joke. And she thought that was like a cute thing for some reason. And so she would brag about her rosebud asshole. Like it was cute. And I was like, oh no. Wow. Anyway, you can see it on OnlyFans. <laughs> I guess. My I don't know story- if it ever goes back. I assume it does, but maybe not. There was this girl named... Jenny in high school and she was dating this guy. And she was from the block. She was from the block. Um, and she was dating this guy named Paul. Paul. <laughs> and uh, in high school, but she was super, super religious. Jenny was super religious, right? Oh, um, Jenny was dating a guy named C- Craig. Oh, f- wow. Right. Crazy. So she was dating this guy named Craig. And, um, she was super religious, and they, and they dated for, like, a year. More than a year. Uh-huh. Thanks Actually, for using like your primes right now during this lovely Hello, hype train, you. by the way, everybody. Um. I appreciate it. More than three years. And, uh, she, <laughs> I, <laughs> she would, uh, they would do as a loophole. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, pretty popular. Yeah, because, because they were like, it's not, Holy it's Lord. not losing my virginity if it's in my... Anyway. Okay, as you guys know, I went home. I went home this past week. I went home. Thank you, guys. Sorry. I went home with my boyfriend for my anniversary, and I brought some things back with me, including a diary. Which I used to keep a very, very, very... I'm so excited. I haven't seen it. Detailed diary. I also, before we start that, I, I grabbed my senior pictures. Because I showed one to Ludwig and he laughed so hard that I decided that I should show them to Maya and the internet. Um, Who's hiding them like that? Because I don't know. I'm just nervous. It has... I might... I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just going to check. I don't know. Um, like, that one has literally my school name on it, see? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this one's so bad. Oh my god. 
god. Oh my god. Yeah, it's me wearing an Amber Crumby button up. No, this. With platinum blonde hair. This is you? Leaning against. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> I'm serious, if I saw this picture, I would not even think about you. Why? Because it, it, really, so it, really, it truly does not look like you. Really? Yeah. Oh, will you show the class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought it was funny. Dude, this doesn't look like you at all. Wait, Maya. Let me see it. No, I have it. You're okay. Good. What is that? Don't say what is that. That's it me. It doesn't look like you at all. That's me. No, it's not. Okay, I did have a little bit of an eating disorder, so I did only weigh 99 pounds. No, it's not even that. Dude, your face, it doesn't look like you at all. That is so crazy. What about this one? That was just my school this photo. This does look like you. Yeah. I didn't realize it had a little info on the one. That's me. That looks like you. It's the eyebrows? Well, yeah, thin eyebrows were in, chat. That's fine. That's f that one's fine. Yeah. The other one freaks me out. It, 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 like, actually... If you showed me that and you're like, do you think this is me? I'd be like, no. What? Yeah. They're so bad. Okay, this one does look more like you. <laughs> the watermarks. You know, I didn't want to pay. Walmart Taylor Swift. <laughs> that is mean. Everybody. Okay, these aren't as good as... Let me see. Oh, baby. This is... This is me when, is I was, that? when I was eight. Why are you doing this? Because I was... <laughs> I was just being silly. Um, for audio listeners, it's me as an eight-year-old posing in front of a wallpaper of a lake. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Looking cooler than ever, some might say. You look so cool. And audio listeners, if you want to see what this looks like, feel free to check it out on the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's wicked, chat. It's wicked. I peaked when I was young. It's true. Um, these aren't as good. The pictures are not as good as the... The, um, I'm wearing shorts, by the way, just in case anyone gets weird. I always wear shorts. Um, these are not as good as the diaries, which we have. Which on the diary, Maya can confirm I wrote a journal of me, a confused, blonde-haired, blue-eyed loser. <laughs> I was going through some things. Yeah. So everyone's like, everyone's like, what's that thing that you're supposed to do? P affirmations? My affirmations have always been negative, clearly. Give it to me. No. No, give it to me. I'm going to flip to a random page. And I'm going to read it. That's, okay. that's, that's the You have to replace all names in it, though. Okay. Okay. I don't care. It says a journal at the top. She wrote under it, like, scratched out in a pen, a ballpoint pen, of me. A certified blonde-haired, blue-eyed no, loser. A confused blonde-haired, blue-eyed loser! Exclamation loser. point. Wait, can we have different wine before we do this? No, just drink that. Oh. What happened? Okay, this one's not bad. Two thousand five. <laughs> what happened? Well, I started seventh grade, and <laughs> Andrea's going to the same school, but she's starting to get annoying. We had to give <laughs> <laughs> we had to give Mandy away because she attacked Pepper by grabbing him. Oh, by, that was a dog. We had to give we had to give our pitbull away because he attacked our other dog and tried to kill him by the throat and pulling him down the stairs. But we got a new puppy two days ago. It's nine weeks old and it a Pomeranian named Mo. Well, that's all. Blair. P.S. At least that's what I can remember. Random flip. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This one's good. You're gonna love this one. This one is titled The Conversation. Well, you have to read this because I know it goes with it. I cannot believe you. Wait. Yeah, this goes with it, I believe. 
Wait, no, it doesn't. Wait. This has this. No, this goes is the start of the conversation. I know, but I swear the conversation. Let me just. Goes oh my God, let me just read the. Let me just read the conversation. <laughs> the conversation. T. So I heard you like me. K. I heard you heard. Change all the letters. Okay. 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 So we're gonna change things. We're gonna change things. I'm gonna have you start here. And this guy's name is. M. M. It's me. Any place where you see K, change that to O. Okay. Any place where you see this letter, change that to B, because that's actually me. Okay. And then any place where you see this letter, change it to... R. R. Okay. Oh, what's happening? Sorry. Oh. Oh, I don't think they're... Com I don't think it's an audio problem. I think there's... Is there an audio problem, chat? No. Okay. Literally, she's going to start all over and ignore those two because I don't want anything to... Okay. She's B. I'm okay. B. So we have M. I heard you like me. R. I heard you heard. M. Well, I hope... Okay. Wait one second. <laughs> wait one second. Wait one second. We got to mute. I got to mute. I got to mute real quick. Okay. We have to go to a new journal entry. <laughs> Sorry, chat. There was... That one's a little too spicy. Let me, I'll read you a little excerpt without saying any of the, the, the people that said them. Because you're cool and sexy. <laughs> Just come on, please. I don't know why wouldn't you just want to go out? Okay, whatever, bye. It makes no sense right now. It makes no sense. Uh, all right. Danny cut all of that out. She just got in here. Wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, okay, one second. You have to mute both of our mics. I know. I know. Oh my God. Crush list. Danny, cut that out. You can't say the crush list. That's everyone's legal name. I'm not gonna say their legal names. This is the issue. She Shut keeps, up! She keeps doxing people. Oh my people. god. She really okay, did okay. write their first and last name. I did. Obvious, though. She did. Okay, fine. Read them. Read them. Tell their legal name. I just made I the care. nickname list, so I decided to make the crush list. What's the nickname Of which list? I spelled wrong, but here. I spelled... Tell them people how I spelled crush. C-H-R-U-S-H. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's how you spell a crush. <laughs> and then she wrote a list of nine people. And then she did a... Oh my god. She did a hyphen and then wrote when she had a crush on them. Kindergarten slash third grade, fourth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. But then the last one has a heart instead of a hyphen. <laughs> for instead of an M dash. And it has one, two, three, four, five hearts. And it says forever! Mm -hmm. Exclamation point. That was so, my boyfriend's senior year, and we dated for maybe six months. <laughs> so, do you still have a crush on him? Absolutely. Forever. I would never lie in my, in my journal. Oh my god. The issue is I was also very suicidal in high school, so be careful. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's fine. You can read them. I don't care. <laughs> There's literally nothing I'm afraid of. Besides doxing people. <laughs> Dude, this is falling apart. Okay, don't make fun of my journal. It's not nice. Okay. I got on. it from the dollar store. Do you see that? Oh my god, you actually did. <laughs> okay, flip the crush list again. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm so poetic. The summer is slipping away. You did so say fast. That. Wow, dude, you are a why? Because there are so many different male names in here. I cannot keep track, genuinely. I had a crush. I, I didn't kiss anyone until I was 16. I was not a f Also, I was friends with a lot of boys. Why did you write in red ink, you psycho? It's all I had. All right, here we go. Let's just, let's just read an entry from, from, 
from no, way back when. No, <laughs> Shut up! You're so you not, can't. okay. That's a dog's location. I can't do this. I don't know what you want. Okay, okay. I'm gonna read Look, one. How about I just read it from from my because I've already doxed myself. Okay. Okay. I am still at Mountain View. <laughs> and yeah, totally. We had bagels. <laughs> <laughs> Good note. I'm happy I wrote that down. I would have forgotten that we had bagels until you wrote that down. Thank goodness I wrote that down. Honestly. <laughs> That would suck if I didn't. I am still at Mountain View, and yeah, totally, we had bagels for breakfast again, and sandwiches for lunch, and we ate, gonna have lasagna for dinner, total, we went on a little bike and saw a That moose. says hike, you bitch. We I went said, on a hike. No, that, there's a B. There's a hike. We went on a hike. You're dyslexic. So. We saw a moose. Then we did a golf course, and we took shoulders, yay. I forgot to say what the theme of the year is this is mormon camp for the record it is free to chase year well then we got yeah for <laughs> devotional and tonight well at 2 30 in the morning i'm going on the okay you're making me sound like a freaking idiot <laughs> today is the last night and Terrible. Well, that's kind of it. You are dyslexic. Okay, let me. I'll translate. Let me translate. You're straight up. So dyslexic. this is at Mormon Girls Camp. I am still at Mormon Girls Camp, and yeah, today we had bagels for breakfast again, and sandwiches for lunch, and we're gonna go have lasagna for dinner today. We went on a little hike and saw a moose. Then we did a ropes course and took showers. Yay! I forgot to say what the theme of the year is and it is free to choose yeah well we got ready for devotional and tonight at 2 30 in the morning i am going on a sunrise hike today is the last night 2 30 in the morning oh well that's kind of it that's way too early well if you're going on a sunrise hike it was like a five hour hike you're welcome uh, Sounds completely different when Cutie reads it. Yeah, that's because I know how to read my... No, you don't. ...own handwriting. That is the problem. Yes, I do. I... Uh -huh. oh, I can't read this. We played beach volleyball and Julie stinked the ball... Spiked. I'm sure that says spiked. Spiked the ball so bad we lost it. Ha ha. But we pretty much sat around the... Oh, I remember this day. The... How? Because we went to the water park and we played beach volleyball. I can't read that. And but Julie spiked the ball over the fence and we didn't have a ball. me where we sat some more, we, the, the wa we walked to the Walmart, bought goldfish... Oh, that's cra sick. ...craisins and, I and ice cream. Then oh, we came back night. to the house... What does that say? Can you read that? No, I don't know dyslexic. what word that is. Room and took pictures, ate ice cream, make Facebook. Oh, I made Facebook that night. That was awesome. And the hot, I, I, I remember I added this hot boy and he added me back and I got so excited. Okay, that is crazy that you remember that because then you said, the want to sleep, it wasn't very exciting at all. The end. P.S. I still like Tommy. <gasps> Who the heck is Tommy? Oh my God, I loved him. <laughs> I can't even tell you how much I loved this boy. You want to hear the story of this boy? Yeah. Guys. Okay. His name's not Tommy. I will say his name. I've said his name on... I'll, I've said his name on stream before. His name was Tony. I was in love... Wait, wait. There's more. There's more. There's more. Tony. Because... Okay. okay. You put a P.S. I still like Tommy. Then you said P.S.S. Tommy and Malcolm prank called me at like midnight and asked me what the capital at New York was. I said Denmark. <laughs> That's a bad look. That's a, that's unfortunate that I just said. <laughs> that sucks that I would do that. Why would I say that? Damn. Why did I say that? I was trying. I was probably trying to be funny. That sucks. You were not trying to be. Funny. <laughs> that's not ideal. Oh my god. Okay, so. <laughs> that is so funny. Why would I write that down? That's <laughs> past Blair. That's defamation on current. I'm suing past Blair. That's up. Why would I write that? Um. 
Okay, Tony was the love of my life in high school. I've never been like more like high school and I saw Tony in the hallway and I was like, Tony. I know his name's Tony. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I've said his name on stream before. His name was Tony. Okay, I, was I tried. I tried. I didn't try very hard, but I did try. <laughs> I was in love with Tony. I was in love with Tony. Okay. And it was this super awkward thing because it was like I, I told my best friend. My best friend, his name was Malcolm. Okay. That one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My best friend was Malcolm and I said to Malcolm, I am in love with Tony, and we play on Halo Live every single night, yeah, as the group of us, and I was, like, so in love with Tony, and, um, and I told Malcolm, I was like, I have a crush on Tony, and Malcolm was like, he has a crush on you, and I was like, oh, fuck. We went to go see a movie as a group, because that's what you do in high school, and they sat us next to each other, and we did this the whole time. Stop. Just sat up straight sweating. Really? Yeah, I was so in love with him, too. I, I like, I couldn't believe it. And and we were so I to, awkward. I have to pee so bad. Okay, that's fine, because I'm on about a bit of a rant. Okay, Just you make go. sure you leave your mic. I will. Um, I was so in love with him, and I just sat there so awkward, and I, I remember, like, just, like, regretting it. And I was like, oh, I blew my only chance. But then Malcolm has a party. We go to his house, and his, his was, like, the house we always hung out at. So we go to his house, we like play some Xbox, we drink some Red Bull, like we didn't drink at this age, we were so young. And, um, and he, we were playing like Truth or Dare, but like spin the bottle, Truth or Dare. So you spin the bottle and then you get hit with the Truth or Dare. And so we spin the bottle and it lands on me and they're like, Blair, Truth or Dare. And I was like, Dare. And they're like, I dare you to pole dance but Tony is the pole dance. And I was like, or Tony's the pole. And I was like, what? I'm in like ninth grade or something. I'm like, what? I couldn't even pole dance now and I'm 25 again. And I was like, oh no, in front of everyone and I couldn't do it. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. I refuse. Like, you know, I have braces. I'm wearing freaking Hollister. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look cute. Um, and then I... <sighs> And then they're like, okay, if you won't take the dare, then you guys need to go into this room and kiss. And I was like, okay. So we go into the room that we're supposed to kiss in, and then instead we get awkward and we start playing Guitar Hero. So we don't kiss. We just play Guitar Hero. So then it's a school dance, not a fancy dance. We called, we had like non-fancy dances that were just like kind of like club nights is what we'd call them, but they were just like, you know, you just wear your normal stuff. It was like after homecoming and it would just be like a party and you'd wear your clothes or whatever. And the song, a Chris Brown song came on and he came up behind me and grinded with me. And I was like, holy shit, Tony's in love with me. We grinded together. I grinded on Tony. No, but I know that, I know that this, the Tony story, the grinding on Tony story is not in here. If you guys don't know what grinding is, go to high school. What you do is the girl sticks ass on the guy's pants and you gyrate back and forth until he gets in his pants, probably. And it was To a, the tune of Sage the Gemini. It was Chris Brown. I still remember. It was Chris Brown. And so Tony, that was the closest Tony and I ever got to like kissing or touching or anything. Okay. And for me, it was like, I was just like, my, I was breathless. I was taken away by Tony's pelvis on my ass. <laughs> And I was like so excited. I'm not kidding. And I, I was like so pumped. And I like remember going home and I slept at my friend's house and I was like, do you think he likes me still? And like, you know, I've blown every chance I've had with this guy. Like it's awful. And then, and then the next day we go to lunch and it's like the group of us again. Like when you're in high school, you're like traveling in a group circus. I swear to God, we go to lunch. We're going to like subway or something. We're all in the car. And my friend, let's call her Cassie, turns on the Chris Brown song that we just grinded to the night before. And he definitely his pants because I was the best grinder out there and and it was so awkward and I remember sitting there and I was just like oh my god this is the end of us and then this is where it gets dramatic okay, okay. dramatic so Malcolm was my best friend he was a boy right Malcolm was my best guy friend we love Malcolm he's amazing he's still I actually gave a speech at his wedding I love Malcolm Aww. yeah he's still I love him um and so Malcolm was my best guy friend, but Tony had a best girlfriend named Lindsay. So finally, one night, Lindsay's trying to give Tony a pep talk at a whole party at Malcolm's house. Because we'd go to Malcolm's house and play Halo, like, a lot. It's what I did in high school. I, just I would just like to say Malcolm is, like, the most random. I'm so creative. 
You are really good because it says no correlation. I know. Um, and so we're at, we're playing a party at, we're, we're playing Halo at Malcolm's house. And then, um, and I go in the other room and I'm hanging out with just Malcolm and he's like trying to give me this pep talk. He's like, hey, Tony really likes you. Like you've got to get, you know, you've got to, like, come on, like, you know, don't you like him? And we're like having like a heart to heart. And I'm like, I really like him. Like I really, he's so smart and he's so cute. And I'm like, I'm like so in love with this boy that I've never had a real conversation with because I'm too shy. Like we would talk on like AOL Messenger or like Facebook Messenger or something. I don't remember how we talked, but I'd we'd always get so excited. Each other on and he, yeah, and he'd have me bring it. He'd ask me to bring him cookies to school, and I'd bring him cookies and like a Capri Sun, and I'd give him hand massages. And it was like, I was literally so in love with this boy. And so then Lindsay is giving Tony the pep talk in the other room. But then Lindsay goes, okay, you haven't had your first kiss. And he's like, no. And she's like, well, let me just show you. And she starts making out with him. Yeah. And then, what? And then she's like, you haven't touched boobs either, have you? And he was like, no. And so then she grabs his hands and put them on her boobs. And then he does the same with her ass. And she's like, see, it's not that bad. And they just start making out and they like have a whole thing. Anyway, next day... They are dating. They start dating. Lindsay stole him from me. I've had women steal men from Because me. she was just an alpha and I was just a little bait. I was less than, a, I was like an omega-3 fish oil pill. <laughs> the very bottom. And she stole, she stole him from me. I have a good story for after this. And then, so Tony and I have this whole saga through high school where I'm just, like, kind of in love with him. Yeah. And then Tony tells me to date this boy that's, like, his best friend, and so I do it because Tony asked me to, and then that's bad because you can't, yeah, it, it was a whole thing. Anyway, senior year, Tony and I are in the same theater class. He is broken up with, um... Lindsay. Lindsay, and it's, like, we're back to, like, I'm, like, oh, this could happen. Like, we could, we could my love story might come true. Like we're in the same theater class and, um, and we had to do lip syncs as for some reason in theater, we had to do this lip sync thing where you had to like lip sync to two songs about you. And so he like, I don't even know if this was senior year. I don't know what year this was, but he lip synced to, um, Halo by Beyonce because you know, we played Halo. Okay. And so he like, and I film it on my phone. I'm like, tee hee hee. So funny. Like, you know, and, um, and he, there's like this blossoming rumor that he had this crush on this girl named Anna. And right. I was like kind of sad because I still liked Tony. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like on AOL Messenger or Facebook Messenger. I don't remember which one. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, I have your video, winky face. And he was like, he was like, what are you going to do with it? Like, he's like super embarrassed. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to send it to Anna, like winky face, you know? And he was like, don't. And I was like, I don't know. Like trying to be all coy, but flirty. But that made him confess his feelings to Anna and then they started dating you got no game bro. I know I've got no game no game so anyway if you see any Tony in here that was my heartbreak of high school Tony I was so it's not really a similar story but one time my best friend I, I, I had this thing with this guy for a while and then I broke it off with him and then I told her to this go... This wine is so hard to drink. I'm sorry. It's, it's so bad. Continue. And then I told her to check on him after I broke it off with him because he was going to be really sad. Mm -hmm. This was like my, like, oh my maybe God. not my you best friend at the time, but one of my best friends at the time. She yeah. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and so I was like, hey, can you just like check on him tonight and make sure that he's okay? And she was like, yeah, for sure. Because they were friends too. And then uh, they went hot tubbing, which like, weird choice, right? But whatever. And yeah, then, let me make you feel better. Let's go hot tubbing. Yeah, and then she 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 made out with him, and she told him to pretend like it was Maya. That's sick. Or pretend like she was Maya. Yeah, it's super weird. Super weird. And then what what's weirder is that she texted me the night of or the next morning, and she was like, he's good, don't worry, like, I got him, he's all right, like... It's all good. And I was like, you're such a good friend. Thank you so much. Like, I really appreciate that. Because I was worried about him. Because I was like, he's going to be really sad. Because I just broke it off. And he's like, really into me. Um, and then weeks later, I talked to the guy. Like, we met up again. And I was like, how you doing? Like, everything okay? Whatever. Um, and he was like, yeah. Like, I I'm cool. But, like, you should probably know that, you know, that night. 
like this happened and then she said this and like she tried to have sex with me but I said no and I was like oh that's crazy and then that woman later um without my consent stuck her finger up my vagina Wait, what? Why? Yeah, I don't know. I was, I was, like... That was such a casual thing for you just to drop. Yeah, it was honestly assault, I think. Oh. I was, like, she was giving me a piggyback ride because I was hammered. Like, I was super, super drunk. We were, we were, like, going to bars and whatever. And I was on her back, and, like, she was holding me, right? Like this, like, because I was on her back. And she, she full-on, like, stuck a finger at my vagina. And I, like, jumped off her back, and I was, like... Why did she Yo. do that? I don't know. Do you still talk to this person? Yeah. I don't think you should. Because I'll tell you something. I would give you a piggyback a thousand times, and I would never it, stick you, my If you ever did that, I would uh, offset our relationship. I know. I would never do that. That's the thing. So she clearly did that pur- purposeful. Do you understand that? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, like, I I don't would, even know why I tried to say that. <laughs> I, was like, I would... That would offset our relationship. Yeah, right? for sure. It would really offset. It would offset, offset, offset some things. I'm just telling you that that was not an accident. No, no, I know that it was. No, she knew it wasn't. We, we both acknowledge that it wasn't an accident. We should call her. Yeah. <laughs> no. no. You know what's crazy? Is she so was she while like, we were setting up the, the camera. So was she trying to make a move, like genuinely? I don't know. I don't know. She told me one time... She was, like, it was kind of offhanded. Like, it wasn't anything serious, but she did tell me one time we were hanging out. We were, we were like, we were about to go to the bathroom, and she was, like, you know I really know my way around a vagina, right? And I was, like, okay. That's good. I mean, cool, right? Like, I don't. Is like, she bi or lesbian? Yeah. She is. She's bi. She's bi. Um, and I was, like, all right. But then it, but it didn't go anywhere. I mean, we didn't do anything. I was just like, oh, I know, but okay. she sexually assaulted you by shoving her finger up your vagina. Yeah, but at the time, okay, when it happened though, she like she was just like laughing, like she thought it was funny, like she was like, th- I was kind of freaked out, but I was also laughing. It was kind of like a nervous laughter, right? But she was like, like I got you, <laughs> and I was like, my mouth ah! popped up. Yeah, and, like, and the idea was, like, or the bit was I was, like, oh, my God, like, you can't do that, right? And she was, like. Yeah, so I'm I'm going to say this, and this might be brave for me to say, but I'm I'm pretty funny. I think I'm a very funny person. Mm-hmm. I would never do that. It's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. That's crazy. She was, I also, she, never mind, I'm not going to say that part. Because that actually might kind of give it away to mine. There was also, for, like, years, there was, like, a, like, a, never mind. No, never mind. <laughs> no, I, can, I actually can't. Cause I think what do you mean? I mean, do you want to mute for a second? Yeah, we can mute. Uh, Sorry, chat. Maya told me she Suck has my d- oh. <laughs> and wants to suck um, a d- <laughs> So both of those things, it's really awful when you have diarrhea and you're sucking it. It's like, it's like, if you have diarrhea the same time you take a load, it would be like, insert, outsert. I guess. Gross. Anyway, that's why we're demonetized. Um, so let me, let me. She tried to force me into stripping once too. You should not be friends with Like she thought that it'd be really good money. Or she knew that it was good money because she had done that too. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not down. Uh-huh. She's like, you'd be really good at it. And then she took me to like a stage. Like it was like a, there was like a stage with a pole. And she like started trying to teach me. And I was like, I don't really want to. And there was a sign on the stage that said, um, if you're not naked or barefoot, if you're not naked and barefoot, get off the stage. So like you had to like take off all your clothes to go on the stage. And I didn't want to. And uh, I, I didn't actually take all my clothes off. But she did. <laughs> and then she danced on the pole. And then there was a basement underneath that. And there was a... It was legitimately a sex dungeon. Like, it was... It, there were, like... like Where I, dead were ass, you? Like, there were, like, ropes and, and like, like chains. And 
It was it was a genuine like it was a space made for sex. Like Fifty Shades of Grey. Where was this? And she took this? me down there, but she was like she was just like showing me. She was like, "Look at this, ha ha, crazy." And I was like, "Oh my god, this is so crazy." Okay. So, I don't I don't know if you want to hear this, but Hi, Gabby. I don't think you should be fr- <laughs> I don't think you should be friends with this person. Right. Because imagine, okay, so the, this is how I give advice in life. I learned this. How I give advice in life is, like, uh, if I were to tell you this story, what would you say to me? You'd be like, you should be, be friends like, with this person. I'd be like, you're a huge <laughs> You are so dumb. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah, so. It's complicated. I would just stop being friends with them. I would just stop replying. This is something that I've gotten with age is zero patience. And if anyone even rubs me the wrong way, I just don't talk to them. And so if someone shoved their vajayjay or their finger at my vajayjay, I would... um, It was one finger, but it was like very alarming. Oh my God. I wrote down... The year was 2008, and I wrote down my first hug, my first text, my first comment on MySpace. Who did it? I'm trying to find... I know I have a juicy, juicy entry in here about the first time I grinded with a boy, so I'm trying to find that. Let me think back to the first time I got... Oh, wait, actually... Mm. The first time I ever danced with a boy was a slow dance, and it was in middle school, and it was this guy, it was with this guy named Cole, and um, I I asked him, um, Siv, thank you so much for the five, uh, it was, it was to a, um, is it Jason Mraz, I Won't Give Up? That song came on, oh, and it, yeah. it was, it was the, it was, I knew that I wanted to slow dance to that song, and I thought it was really nice. Uh huh. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I want to slow dance, but no one was asking me and it had already been like 30 seconds or something into the song. So I was like, I'm just going to ask Cole. So I asked him and then we slow danced. It was pretty nice. Grinding though was with that guy that was Jason's friend. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> his homie. And, yeah. And it was in the, it was in the high school gym to gas pedal by Sage the Gemini. Wow, gas pedal. Yeah, and there were teachers. Um, Dude, I love the... Okay, I think... It wasn't Sean. Relax. I I, I thought it was Sean in middle school, kind of. That was it. We never had a thing. Teacher supervision of dances is kind of creepy, if you think about it. It is crazy that they stand there. Because they're just watching children grind. And they just... It is crazy. Like, you don't think about it until you are out of high school. It is bizarre. We should... Do something about that. Anyway, so teachers stand there and they watch you grind. And I, I grinded with uh, with uh, Jason's friend in front of my uh, AP US history teacher to gas pedal by Sage the Gemini. And then um, later he grinded with this other girl named Beth um, at a high school dance. And he f- her while they were grinding. On, on the, on, uh, in the gym. In, in the gym. After we had broken up, it was, like, the first, it was, like, he was moving on, and he danced with this girl, and I knew that they were dancing, and they danced in the, in the high school gym, and he finished her while they were, while they were dancing. That's crazy that that happened. She was a senior, and he was a sophomore. I found the entry. Give I'm gonna to read me. it. No, I'm gonna read it, because you're gonna mess it up. Okay. Because you won't be able to read my language. Okay, go ahead. This is, this is Cutie's first time grinding. This is my first time grinding, everybody. Okay, so it says, so we would have this thing called Morp. Did you guys have Morp? What is that? It was prom backwards. No. That's so stupid. Anybody in chat? Morp? Yeah, see? So many people are saying yes. It's prom backwards, so you wear pajamas. Oh, my God. Yeah. You wear pajamas. Okay. It's awesome. Ugh. Uh, so Morp was yesterday, and it was amazing. But I'm writing about it now. Okay, so after the volleyball t- tournament where we won no games. <laughs> uh, I need a fake name. Uh, 
Maddie. Maddie and I went to Teresa's house. Is Teresa a name? Go with it. Teresa. I swear to God, if the name is Marissa, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> is it deadass? You are so stupid. You're like this dumbest person I know, deadass. You're like so embarrassing. And anyway, we went to Teresa's house. <laughs> Uh, and took like five minute showers and then went to TGI Fridays for Teresa's birthday dinner. <laughs> the people that were there were, and then I named all the girls because I don't want to come up with fake names. It was way fun. I tried shrimp for the first time and it was pretty sick. <laughs> and then, uh, Cassandra, Caitlin, Teresa, and I went back to Teresa's house to get ready, and I just dyed my hair brown on Friday, so I looked kind of R word. <laughs> Ooh. Sorry, chat. I'm a gamer. Oh my god. Sorry about that. That was a different year. That was a few years ago. Um. I never said that. Oh, I used to drop I it like, it's hot. I never said that word, ever. But yeah, it took us like two hours to get ready. Then we had cake and went to the school. And I thought it was going to be like way awkward at first because all the dances, there's just people grinding. But it was way fun. Some of the guys I danced with were, <laughs> then I named one, two, three, four, five, six. And some others. But I can't remember. Anyway, so Max is like a really good dancer. And Nate had a boner, which was totally awkward. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Dude, I'm surprised. I swear I vividly remember talking about Max's da dance skills. Oh, but I don't see it. It's not in here. Oh, that's where I, I say anyway. And then I talk about how he went to Maria's house. And it was the first time. Oh, and I got in a car with some seniors that had to drift. And it was scary. But we got bored and went to the burrito place. And Eli was there and he was so wasted. But he wanted to go to the burrito place, so then we went there, and then I slept at Teresa's house. Just save Marissa. Jennifer. And my mom picked me up in the morning, and we went to church, and at like 7 p.m., Gordon B. Hinckley died, which was way sad. Wasn't your classmate? Gordon B. Hinckley was the prophet of the Mormon church. To which I said, at 7 p.m., Gordon B. Hinckley died, which was way sad. Right soon, Blair. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I processed Gordon B. Hinckley's death, I suppose. Oh my God. <laughs> that's way sad. It's like way sad. Straight up. 7 p.m., Gordon B. Hinckley died, which was way sad. <laughs> That is literally what she said. Mm-hmm. Wow. It was way sad. That is rough. That was my profit chat. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna flip to a random page. I'm gonna read okay. it. No matter what it says. Okay. Good luck. May the God. May Gordon B. Hinckley be with you. He's dead. I, I literally, I'm not even, like, pre-reading this. I'm just gonna read it. Great. It might, but the other thing is it might just not be interesting. Are you It ready? might not. Okay. Who knows? Okay, well, I'm not going to write the text because I lost them, haha. -ha. But today I went to Rodney's house for a get together with Alex. Oh, that's Malcolm for sure, right? Yeah. Yep, that's Malcolm. Yeah. I went to Malcolm's house. Maddie wasn't supposed to be there. She just made it more awkward. And I brought her along so I wouldn't be awkward, but that didn't work, haha. -ha. Oh, yeah. I remember but that. But once again, nothing happened. Tony and I rolled down a hill together and played Halo alone together That's for so a few hot. minutes. Hell yeah. If that helps, haha. -ha. Stop saying that you're so grand. Um, but we I was played, so in. <laughs> but we played, we played cops and robbers and murder in the dark, and it was fun. Then, we, then I left and went to Maddie and slept there. I was a mistake 
It was a mistake to bring Abby. I can't keep track. She she was annoying, <gasps> etc. But these other girls were out of town. At least I became good friends with Rodney. Okay. Anyway, love Blair. <gasps> Ooh, Rodney was the hot popular girl, and so I was saying, oh my god, <gasps> oh my god, heartbreak. Okay, wait, wait, next, oh, next, no. next one. Any hope for Tony and I is officially over. Oh, my heart! <gasps> Baby Blair, are you going to make it? No, F we and chat. Wait, but you guys just played a Halo. I know, you would think we were like Eight doing Eight days well. ago that you played Halo. Oh. We haven't, hung out, we haven't hung out since the last time I wrote, and we both need so much assurance. It's ridiculous. You spelled that wrong. Ridic like, how did I spell it? R-E-D-I-C-U-L-O-S. Close enough. No, not. It's not close. So yeah, nothing. It's over. Just another wonderful serade. I I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know what that word is. Charade. Charade. That is. <laughs> oh my god! It is charade that I. I'm such. I'm so poetic for the record. S U R A D. <laughs> This is high school. I am stupid and dyslexic. Yeah. I like him so much, though. Like, so much. Like, I don't so understand much. why I do, but Saturday, I literally, with two T's, drove myself crazy because I couldn't stop thinking about him. And then today, I went to my aunt's house because she had a new baby. And during the ride home, I saw the name Tony everywhere. Ugh. Blair, that's M dash. I like Rodney says to my likes my wait likes my oh like this is Malcolm. You keep requ you keep replacing Malcolm with Rodney for some reason. That's Malcolm. Mal Malcolm was my best I like friend. Malcolm says to my likes my no. Okay. You cannot read this. There's no. Yeah, way. it is. Like Malcolm says to me. Oh, Malcolm says he likes me, but there's no way he thinks about... He thinks about me like I think about him. Ugh. Ugh. And these girls are going on a rafting trip without me, of course. Oh, ugh, classic. That was classic. Listen, any anybody in high school, you can't be friends with girls in groups of three. It never works. It literally never works. These guys went on a rafting trip without me. They'd always do that shit. It was so rude. Like, it's so hard to be their friends because I'm always, like, always excluded. I hopefully feel like we can do something Saturday when they get home. Maybe, well, right soon. P.S. Why do I like Tony? Why do I like Tony? Okay. Okay. Okay, it's been a month. I, I have not read this. Okay, so I don't know what's going to happen. But it's been a month since she lost Tony. So let's see where she's at. Okay, so this is the week that... I'm not even making it. Woke up and these girls weren't anyway. Three nights of that time from Malcolm called and asked if I want to go do something with him and Tony, but I couldn't. Ugh. But on the fourth... What I was, was I doing? Why did they hang out with Tony? <laughs> But on the 4th, I was at my dad's, and we were having a big family party, like always. Oh, do I talk about my and period? Malcolm asked if I wanted to go to this party at at Julie's, and I said I couldn't, and Malcolm said... Lindsay! That's Lindsay! Oh, Lindsay. Oh my god, the party was at Lindsay's. Blair <gasps> doesn't want cakes anymore. He wants... You, yeah, that was kind of Oh awkward. my god, wait, what? Oh my god, wait, what? I can't read it. Sorry, let me read it. Chat, this is some tea that she skipped out on. It's illegible. It is illegible. Okay, Malcolm called and asked if I want to go do something with him and Tony, but I couldn't. But on the 4th, I was at my dad's and we were having a big family party, like always. And Malcolm asked if I wanted to go to this party at Lindsay's, and I said I couldn't, and Ridley said... Blair, Tony doesn't want cakes anymore. He wants you. Oh my god, it does say that. Because I used to make cakes in high school, too. And I would, like, bring them to every party. 
That's Wait. hot. She's in love with her with her best friend. What? Malcolm? Yeah. No. That what are you talking about? Malcolm said Blair. Tony doesn't want cakes anymore. Oh, he wants Tony. You. Yeah. Okay, so Tony's back in. I I'm still in love with Tony, clearly. I've been in love. I said it was over, but it wasn't over. I was in love with him. I'm pulling down my dress. It's pissing me off. Okay. And then what happened? I went to the Dark Knight Batman movie with my family. I came home in a big fight with Julie, wrote a poem. I wrote a poem? That must be right lovely. Right soon. If anything exciting happens, which I doubt, love Blair. Oh, and I still really like Tony, but he has... Probably already forgotten about probably me. Probably already forgotten about me. Wait, did he miss anything in here? Because this was like a recap. I went to a volleyball camp. Just seeing if there's any Tony drama. I want to control F this so bad. I know. Will somebody type up all my journal entries? It'd be really helpful. No, it doesn't look like it. No. I went to Vegas with my mom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is right. so sad. Then next up, we have a very sad entry. Oh, yeah. I was crying. You can see the teardrops. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Lore. All right. This was my best friend, so we'll name her Christine. So if you see any of this name, this is Christine, and this is... Amanda. Amanda, and they were my best friends. Christine and Amanda. And when I constantly am writing about being left out, it's because of Christine and Amanda. I am, like, such a loser. Such a loser. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So Christine has kissed, like, seven guys. She's kind of a hoe. She's kind of a hoe, figured twice, and felt up once. Figured twice. What a hoe. Oh, she she kind of... she. I'm going to read exactly what she said. She's kind of a hoe. <laughs> She's kind of a hoe, Jeff. Figured twice and felt up once. Insane. We're in high Amanda school. has kissed two guys and figured once. Oof. I was in figured Abby zero. has kissed four guys. Like, honestly, what is my problem? I don't want to be figured because that's gross. But I am the only person in our group that hasn't been kissed. I didn't think I was super ugly, but I guess I am. Aww. That is so Baby Blair, you were uh, so ugly. That is so sad. You're still so ugly. <laughs> Shut up. Um, it's kind of really sad and it makes me feel bad to know, oh well, I guess that's nothing I can do about it. Maybe I'm fat. I oh. literally hate you. Like, I want to shoot I was you. so skinny back then. That sucks. I thought it was Hey, baby Blair, wait till you see Blair now. It's rough. Maybe I am fat. I am too fat. I will try to lose some weight. I just wish I know why. Sorry, that just hit me today, so I decided to write it down from Blair. P.S. Christine and I are still not talking. Why weren't we talking? I don't know. You didn't say. Oh, my God. I left out the tea. Why wasn't I talking to Christine? Did she kiss... Did she kiss Tony? No way. You would have said it. <laughs> we made up. They made up. They made up eight days later. I wish we could control F Tony. I just like wanted. I know. Me too. Is this... Okay, wait. Is this your first kiss? No. No. Almost? Was, like, in this... <gasps> this, this was the night I was telling you guys about. With Tony, when he went to the bathroom. Okay. This was the night I was telling you guys about. This is it. So today we had volleyball, which was definitely work, but then after that, what was this one? Let's call Tony from your number and see if he just answers. Honestly, I will. I'll do it right now. What do you want me to say? Let's just see if he answers and then we hang up and never call him again. Okay. Okay. I don't have his number. Are you serious? I'm going to call, I'm going to call my best friend from high school. Do you want me to do it? No. I'm just going to ask him if he has Tony's number. I'm going to tell him we're live. He'll be totally fine. He's great. He's like, I love him. This is Mal- Wait. Well, oh well. Um, okay, let me try this one. Dude, it's late. Yeah, it is. Um, okay. Malcolm. This is Malcolm. I'm calling Malcolm. 
It's late, though. I, I doubt he'll answer. He's really busy. I'm muting because I don't want it to go to his voicemail. Tough. Tough. Malcolm didn't answer. He's 1,000% sleeping because he is, like, he works at 7 a.m. every day. And Malcolm is, like, still one of my best. Like I said, I gave a speech at his wedding. He's still one of my very best friends. So I know if he didn't answer, it's because he's actually sleeping. Damn it. Okay. Okay, so today we had volleyball, which was definitely a workout. But then after that, uh, Amanda and I went to the pool because... At the pool where Cassie works at and met Tony and Malcolm there and OMG, Tony has a way nice body like wow. You are so cringe. He has a way like, he has a way nice body like oh wow for the record. Ew, dude. Like wow, dude. If he has a way nice body like wow, would you not write it down? Tell me you wouldn't write it down. You would write it down. It was like, wow, chat. But anyway, we were at the pool for like 30 minutes. Then we went to Cassie's and got food. Then Amanda came. Christine came home. We played a little volleyball. Then all went to Malcolm's. And I guess the, the whole goal of going to Malcolm's was to get Tony and I to kiss, but that didn't happen, but something really awkward did. We were sitting on the couch and Malcolm left the room. Then girls both made it obvious to leave the room. So Tony and I were just sitting there talking about how awkward it was. Then we played Halo. I remember so Played Halo just to pass the time. (laughs) Ha ha. Then the girls left and God, it's so hard to make up names. All these people came in and we played. Then blank gave Lindsay a lap dance, which was funny. Tony did. Wait, who gave who gave Lindsay a lap dance? Joe. Joe gave Lindsay a lap dance. Joe gave Lindsay a lap dance, which was funny. Tony did a a peck dance. Oh yeah. What is that? He would he would like flex his pecs and make them dance. And Lindsay did a booty call. Oh yeah, a booty a booty call was when you dropped your booty and like rolled it. Oh my god, I thought it was prostitution. We call that a booty call. <laughs> okay, um, I was supposed to do pole dance with Tony as a pole. I told chat we would play truth or dare where we'd spin the bottle and then you'd have to play truth or dare and they dared me to do a pole dance as Tony as the pole and it was so embarrassing I couldn't do it. So embarrassing. That's crazy. But I got out of it because pizza came. Oh, pizza came. I thought I thought it was the other way around. So I told chat I told chat this story and I told them that I had to do the pole dance and then we were left in the room together to like kiss or whatever. But I guess it was the other way around. I, my memory didn't serve me right. And then everyone got too distracted. Oh, and I forgot. <laughs> Ronald Malcolm, was- why are you calling at 11:30, girl? Are you okay? LOL. I'm sorry. I'm drunk. <laughs> LOL. I'm sorry. I'm drunk, was going to farm, no, they won't know, don't say farm, what do I say, was, was going to, uh, just say uh, I'm on a podcast, I'm on a pod, talking about high school cast, RN, talking, reading my diary from podcast and, wait, (laughs) You are so dumb. I can't even believe it. <laughs> I'm, I'm so embarrassed right now. <laughs> ah! Choking on my spit. I'm going to die like this. Stop. Sometimes you choke on your spit. <laughs> you need to pull it together right now. You, shut up. I'm on a podcast, Aaron, reading my diary from high school. Period. And you were mentioned in it a lot. And I forgot why I was calling you. Period. You are throwing. You're throwing so hard. What are I'm you sorry. doing? You're using speech text. You, you still sound so dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Malcolm. I love him. I'll always love Malcolm. He's like my best friend. Okay, they got too distracted because of the pizza. But Justin and I made a cake out of men- melted Oreos and chocolate. It was really gross. But then Christine came to pick me up, so Malcolm walked me to the car, and 
In the elevator, we talked about the awkwardness between Tony and I, and I got in the car and then told my story to Christine. Then we got home, and Christine was texting Malcolm, and Tony decided he didn't want me anymore. So once again, I have been rejected, and I sleep at Christine's, and that's the end of that. Love Wait, that's the saddest story. I didn't know that was the end of that night that Tony decided he didn't want me anymore. I guess so. That's so <laughs> sad for baby Blair. Baby Blair, are you okay? That is tough. Yeah. What is the last entry in this journal? Uh, I bet it's about Tony. Uh, oh no, this was from Mormon camp. We had to write a song about Mormon camp and we wrote it to the tune of Look at this stuff. So it says, look at this camp. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think unit 12 is complete? Wouldn't you think stop. we're the girls, just, just the stop. girls who have the spirit of Jesus? <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's fine. Well, Malcolm's just... great. So, okay. Here's some, here's some context on the Malcolm situation. You guys should know. In... So, Tony was the love of my life in um, high school, but Malcolm was actually the love of my life in junior high. And the password to everything on my computer used to be Malcolm won my heart, the number one. And so, Malcolm just oh replied God. to me when I said I was telling high school stories, and he said, hashtag Malcolm won my heart. That is funny. But that was junior high. High school was less fun, maybe. Ha ha. All good. Love you too, Blair. Aw. Wait, that's so cute. Good night. That was so nice. I love him. But Aww. What the heck? <laughs> oh, I was supposed to get Tony's number. Well, now it's weird to ask. <laughs> I'm not going to ask. Oh my god. I just wrote about, I wrote about, literally guys, when I said I was in love with Tony, I was in love with Tony. Look at all this. Yeah. All I write about is like weird, like any interaction Tony and I had, I'd write about and then like pick it apart. Wait, is this when the guy got a boner? So there was one time, okay, so my, my best friends, what were their names again? Amanda and Christine. Christine. Amanda and Christine were my best friends. And, um. Yeah, here it is. I have it. Story? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so today was like, what the f does that say? <laughs> oh, this was a girl. Today was like, uh, Jordan's. Jordan's sweet 16, but I wasn't invited. Oh, f me. <laughs> now you guys understand my weird insecurities and complex with not getting invited. Do you understand it now? It's been going on for years. Who knew? I wasn't invited. But yeah, whatever. A bunch of people wanted to boycott because she was acting like actually like Oh, she was such her, a bitch. So we did. We bring all these people. So while I was there, but whatever. Anyway, first, Andy was all over. Wait. Okay. Was, Where was are you? over as was Malcolm. Malcolm and, and we Wait. ate and then left. And then there were people... This is where people coupled off. Coupled off. Christine was with Jake. Christine and Jake, parentheses, her new pet. Okay, Christine was a bit of a whore. You are an insult. I know, but she was a bit of a whore. <laughs> but that's crazy that I wrote her new pet. That was a little toxic. She's a queen, by the way. I do want to say Christine's a queen, but she was a little bit of a salute in high school. I don't like Marcus at all because he is kind of a man where... A man... A man whore. He was a man. Okay, so this people coupled off. So Christine with Jake, her new pet, and Amanda with Ron. They like each other. Then that left is of me and Marcus. See, I don't like Marcus at all because he is kind of a man. And that's not extremely appealing to me. Oh, yeah. And before the party, I went and got my hair done and my eyebrows waxed and as long with my eyebrows they waxed my skin too oh yeah but that's besides the point so i was on acne medication so they waxed my eyebrows and a chunk of my skin came off like a chunk so all underneath my eyebrows all the skin came off it sucked anyway at first we played this game called 
Predator. It's kind of like Ghost in the Graveyard, oh, but yeah. not Did really. Oh, yeah, you guys know that game? Oh, my God, we should play that girls' trip. It's anyway, so fun. It was fun, and during that game, kind of people and I were all in a closet a closet hiding then we were like have you guys ever played bloody mary then we talked then in we, and then we talked them into playing oh my god and we played bloody mary christine Spooky. and i left them in the closet to mock it to mack it to we m- would call making out macking it ew to mack it which did happen anyways oh yeah so then the rest of us moved ron into, and amanda made out that night moved into a watching a movie and Jake and Christine were watching we're cuddling cuddling. so that left Marcus and I it was so horrible in the middle of cuddling he got a like horrible fight during the whole movie right during the movie like horrible right during the movie I was just praying for it to be over because he was cuddling me we're spooning and his kept poking me and it was like moving it it kept it kept like it kept, like, poking me. Audio listeners, I'm moving my finger back and forth like I'm poking someone. <laughs> then Christine and the, walked into the room and just said, Oh, then thankfully Christine's mom came. Then we went to Christine's to sleep. And I was made fun of for the whole night. Whatever, though. Yeah, Blair. they did make fun of me. For, for what? Because Marcus and I didn't make out. And I told them about the boner. And they made fun of the boner. They made fun of me for everything. Oh, my God. I'll be honest. They were bad friends. But look at me now. I'm thriving. She's rich. You know what? The funny thing is, is they both stopped talking to me because I told a story about them on my stream. And they got offended. That is tough. That is tough. They both stopped talking to me forever. Forever skis. It's fine now because now I dab ironically. Ew. Don't say that. Uh, all right so where are we at it is 10 40 wow yes we got like what 20 minutes 20 minutes we're not we're not calling tony chat i forgot to get the number from malcolm and i'm not gonna bother him because i told him good night this podcast is usually four hours right i mean it doesn't have to it's end. about four hours it yeah, doesn't have we to end be four whenever. hours um but that's pretty solid that's pretty solid that is pretty solid we could do a reddit moment Kitty really wants to react to r slash nice guys. Yeah, I do. I think they're all going to be so good. But I hate men. I'm a bit of a femme cell, I think. I know I'm a femme cell. Oh. I hate men. I just Googled femme cell for some reason. Oh. Reddit. You're drunk. I am a whittled tipsy. <laughs> um. What's the weirdest thing that you've ever seen a penis do? So I used to have a boyfriend who, um, as you guys should know, do you guys want some etiquette on on having sexual intercourse? For sure. You have a sexual intercourse, please let the girl go pee first before you run into the bathroom. Because uh, we can get after? a UTI. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we, pee after sex, pee after sex, pee after sex, but girls first. We can get a UTI. So please, 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 let you are way less likely to get a UTI. Please. I'm begging you, please let us pee first. Um, so anyway, I'd pee first, and I, I was with this guy. It was my boyfriend at the time. I've never really slept around. I told you about the one time I tried to have a one-night stand, and then I dated him for five years. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. I wish I could. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't anymore. Uh, okay. So I was dating this guy. I go to the bathroom. I pee. I come back into the room... And he has his now flaccid, flaccid penis in his hand. <laughs> it no longer has the condom on it. He, like, took the condom off. But he's, like, he, like, grabs the penis like this. And he goes, hey, that was nice. And I said, what the f-? And he said, that was a good time. I loved it. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this room. And I turned around and I left that's the room. That's almost worse. I think that's worse than mine. It was funny, though, because I was dating him, so it was, like, funny. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, my God. And okay. then he, sh- he, like, he went peed and showered, and then I went back to bed and everything was fine. Mine is not as bad, but it's with someone that, I, that I'm that i not dating. But he treated his penis like a puppet. 
Penis puppet. Penis puppet. Okay, con- sorry, you go. Mine's not as bad, but it's not with someone that I was dating. It was like, I, I hooked up with this guy. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never said this on stream. Because <laughs> it's like embarrassing. I, I, I hooked up... <laughs> It's not embarrassing. It's just funny. I hooked up with this guy, and then after every single guy you've ever hooked up with or any ex is watching right now, like, oh, I hope it's not me. <sighs> I hooked up with this guy, and then after it was a guy that I wasn't dating. Um, and then after he was standing there naked, um, and it was like after this party, so I had a ping pong ball, like in my hand, like I was just like, because we were like playing beer pong or whatever, um, and I had a ping pong ball, and. He's, like, naked, and he was, like, <laughs> oh, no. And he, and he goes, batter up. <laughs> and I was, like, oh? And he was, like, yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love Danny's the first one to reply with batter up and a bat emoji. <laughs> so, and he was, like, yeah, give it to me underhand. So I threw, I, I threw the ping pong ball underhand. And he full body swings, like, slaps it with his d- It actually, like, it went really far. Like, shockingly far. And the sound was hysterical. Like, we were both on the floor laughing after he hit it. And he hit it, like, far. I like, love how chat's like, giga chat. It was, it was a, it was a, it, it was, it was a home run. And it was funny. It was so funny. Yeah. And he was, like, not... He wasn't He was, He was. wasn't hard, but he was, like, not flaccid either. It was, like, so there coming was just down. Like, yeah, but there was just, like, enough. It was, like, a little bit of let... You know? And it just... Slapped that shit out of there. Out of the park. This is something I, I talked Chat, about. Chat, also note, this is not someone I ever dated. So, like... It was... Oh, it was so funny. It was so funny. This was not a boyfriend. Right. Just throwing that out there. Check. It was so funny. The only reason I ever say that whenever Maya says anything is because everyone's like, it was Miz, and you guys are all cringe, and you're self-reporting for being cringe. They're actually, I didn't see that many people say it. I mean, it, it wasn't. I saw enough that it bothered me. It wasn't him, but, like, you know. And so she has to explicitly, it's sad that, like, whenever she tells a story, she has to explicitly say, like, oh, this wasn't a boyfriend. Yeah, chat. you, you guys are that I'm a cringe. I've been around. She is just it's not like just Christine. Miss- yeah. Like, I wrote about her, and I was like, yeah. Maya's new t- pet. Yep. Jeez. I'm toxic. Yep. Um, but I had this thing. Okay. I, I brought this up, actually, the other day, impromptu in the kitchen when I was in there with Ludwig and Slime, and I don't know what we were talking about, but, but somehow I brought this up, and I'm curious to get your opinion about it. Is there anything you've done in a relationship where you feel like you you've done like an unforgivable thing and you think about it it makes you feel awful still yes what is it can you say in high school uh-huh i sw- i dude i swear to god i've never said this on stream i actually like don't even know if i want to mm-hmm. one guess and actually <laughs> I'm, I'm actually kind of worried that it's the alcohol i don't know if I'm <laughs> okay all right okay do you have one do you want to go first I do have one, but okay. it, I have a feeling it's not as bad as yours. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Unforgivable. Well, like, just something that kind of keeps me up at night. I think about this all the time. and Not all the time, but I have OCD. People know this. So sometimes I have no control of my thoughts, and they just like to make me go crazy. Um, but one of those thoughts that I have is just kind of an obsolete moment in a past relationship. I'd love to get your opinion on it. I've apologized for this moment profusely. But um, I had a boyfriend. It was You guys have heard me talk about him before. We dated for like five years. It was like very serious, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and he told me that it, it would like bother him because I'd text him throughout the day like when I was at work and I'd be like, by the way, thinking about you, love you, you know? Yeah. And he told me it bothered him that Ew. it was like too needy. Ew. <laughs> I know. It was a little mean. Uh, but then I was, like, really focused on, like, not being needy. I was like, okay, like, I'm just going to stay in my own zone. Great. And, uh, and so then one, I used to do this thing where I would, late at night after my streams, no, this was before I streamed. I guess late at night after my league games, I would just make a bowl of cereal and go sit on the porch and eat my cereal while Swift played in the grass, and it was, like, my thing. I'd do it every single night. 
Um, and so I go and I, I make my cereal and I, I go to sit on the porch and I walk out and he's out there looking through his telescope up, up at the stars. And I'm like, I feel like really awkward because I'm trying not to be needy and I'm trying not to like intrude on his hobby, you know? But I'm like, I'm like already Who's out. Was your neighbor? No, it was my boyfriend at the time who was like mad at me for being needy. You lived with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I lived with him. I lived with him. And so I go outside and he's already outside and I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I feel like, I just feel super awkward because I'm like, ugh. Like, ugh. And I'm like, well, I can't go back inside now because Swift's already outside, like doing his little dance, you know, trying to go pee. So I'm like, whatever, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my thing. And so I, I then, I sit on the steps and I'm just eating my cereal and he's like, hey, are you gonna look at this? Like his telescope. And I was like, and I'm kind of being a, I'm kind of being a brat. And I go, I didn't come out here for you. Nice. Respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like. I'd say that too. I'm like, I didn't come out here for you. Like, yeah. What the, I'm trying to do my own thing. Like, I'm doing my cereal thing. Like, you know, leave me alone. And he's like, oh, okay. And I was like, all right. And then it's like awkward silence, kind of like weird tension. And, and I'm like, whatever. I finish my cereal. I go inside. Cereal go. And then I find my phone. Okay. I find my phone and on my phone was a text from him because he thought I was still playing League that said, hey, come outside. I want to show you this consolation. And I missed the text because I left my phone inside. I didn't see it. And it was the most like I felt so bad and randomly I think about that and I hate myself. Okay, see, mine is very different. I was gonna say my boyfriend in high school broke his wrist, but uh -huh. he was still super horny and he still wanted to and he tried to stick his toes in my vagina. <laughs> so different. So different. I just spit everywhere. That was so different. It's a lot to take in. I guess it's not a lot because it's just a toe. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, For sure. Didn't really do anything, you know? For sure. Yeah. But I thought you were talking about that. I thought you were talking about something that, like, you're just, like, super ashamed of. Well, I feel bad to this day that I misread the situation. It was mean. Yeah, it was just so different. Like, yeah, it's just not what so I thought you were asking so he, for at so, all. So your ex, I assume he had two His hands. other hand? Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, he did have two. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe it was an excuse. I, I don't know. How was it? It didn't, I mean, it didn't Which really... Which toe was it? I don't, I don't even, I, I cannot recall. It didn't do anything, though. Did it get up there? Probably, but, like, it's a toe, right? So, like, Well, no. if it's a big toe, that probably feels real weird. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's, that's different than the Constellation story, I'll tell Super you Super different, yeah. yeah, yeah. For sure. So... <clears throat> anyway, yeah, that sucks. I would feel bad about that too. Yeah, I feel bad about it all the That's time. That's tough. I don't know why I feel bad about it all the time, but God, I wish I didn't say that. Did he like put I, a condom on I, his I, toe? Like, no, he didn't. And he, the reason that I said I actually wasn't gonna say it because uh -huh. I thought about it uh -huh. after, like, when I started talking. I was uh -huh. like, no, it's way too much. But I said it for for comedy because of what it you said in the contrast. Funny. Yeah. But I really regret saying it now. It was funny. For the record, you you did it. You, yeah, you I mean funny. it's too late, but it is too late. But we are banned off of LSF, so true. So audio listeners, hearts and chat. Audio listeners, you don't have chat. Stop audio listeners, acting put a, like put you a heart do. And oh my god. Also, if you're driving to work right now, mur mur. Beep beep. Call back. Call back. Three episodes ago. Two episodes ago. I don't two. know. What? Who even listens two. this far? Hey, if you've listened to the podcast this far, please type in chat. Twinkle toes. Again? Gets the hose. Oh! Callback number four. Um, chat, stop typing it. You guys are clearly here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are nearly wrapping up. We're going to read three r slash nice guys. Okay. And call it a r slash nice night. I think we should film tomorrow. Why? Amigo. Why? Because I'm so tired. Dude, oh, I'm hungover. How and come I, when I want to do it, it's a no, but when you want to do it? Because I'm more famous. That is true. I hate. 
that I fell off. <laughs> but can we still get McDonald's tonight? Because I won't get it tomorrow because I have to. No, I have, no, we have so much pizza. I have personal training at noon. I can't have McDonald's tomorrow. I have to get back on my diet. We have so much pizza. Today is the only day. We had to. Or- we ordered three pizzas for this photo shoot. We have so much pizza. We should just eat the pizza. No, I really want spicy chuck and nuggets. Okay, then order them right now, but I'm going to eat pizza. That's really lame. If you're not eating McDonald's with me, I... I'll eat McDonald's also. Oh, what do you want? Whatever you get is fine. But I just... We really should eat the pizza. Okay. S-Fan, will you get out of here? S-Fan, please get a hobby. Get away! There's get out! Gotta be something... Get away! Get it out of my chat! Better you could do, S-Fan. Okay. I'm looking for the... Spicy chicken nuggets. Real quick, chat. Because I think they stopped selling them after midnight, and that would be really stressful. <gasps> chat, please hold. Cutie is illiterate and also very dumb. I had the time of my life. I never felt this way before. And I swear this is true. And I owe it all to you. If that was us auditioning, I would get the lead and you wouldn't get a call back. I heard a song that, that was really mean. I, that would, I knew that was going to trigger her, like, really hard. I've worked so hard in my life. Do you think I'd be a good Sharpe? I yeah. I believe in dreaming, shooting for But I'm also saying that because I'm aware of your trauma with Sharpe. <laughs> what? So you don't mean it? That's not nice, Maya. No, I do think you'd be a good Sharpe. But, like, the best Sharpay. I'd be better than Ashley Tisdale. No. Why? No, Ashley Tisdale. No, she doesn't. She has stupid kids now and, like, a husband. She doesn't f- <laughs> She's got a loose ass vagina. No one wants to f- that. Do not. Yeah, you I'm saying it. Ashley Tisdale, you have a loose vagina because you had four kids. Stop! Don't say that I about meant her. it. Oh my god. I believe in dreaming, shooting for the stars. Baby to be number one, you can't have kids and get a loose vagina. She is actually an incel. I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize to Ashley Tisdale. No, I'm apologizing to She knows to what them. she did. Took f***ing <laughs> sharp bay from me. <laughs> I was like six when High School Musical came out. You are psychotic. Okay, here's the deal. I can't find. Oh my god. Don't give me that. Please. We should just eat pizza. Why can't we just eat pizza? Maya. We can get McDonald's tomorrow. You know how bad I want this. We can do we can do the we can do the vlog at McDonald's tomorrow. Oh, we have to do the vlog. I need to oh, We don't we... have to. It's, I mean, it's up to you. It's your channel. Where did we do it at last time? Uh tomorrow. No, we should go to Chili's tomorrow. Fun. Okay. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I just want a McFlurry, but they don't have any McFlurries. That. McDonald's never has McFlurries. They always say that their ice cream machine is broken. It's a I whole conspiracy theory. I am 100% sure they just don't want to do it. I watched a whole video about it. It's actually super messed up. Okay, one second. Give me five more seconds, chat. Count to more than five. One, two, more than five. three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well, I need, like, a little bit more. Oh, my God, you deceitful bitch. Dude. There's no McFlurries in the world. Do you think Ludwig would just get me one? No. Why? He's because mad at me because I got mad at him for not inviting me. Yeah, he's too busy having dinner with his real friends. Hmm. Chat, now you understand my complex with not getting invited after reading my diary together. Yeah, that's actually tough. It's happened for years. I have issues. I, never I get invited. don't think, I can't really recall ever being bullied where I was like, I know that I'm being bullied right now. I didn't know I was being bullied. I just figured like, these are the cool girls I need to try to fit in. Oh. That's all I ever thought. And I did try so hard. I want pizza. You really, you want to film, you want to film Omegle tonight? Oh my god, I accidentally only tipped him $5. How do I change that? He needs more money. 
That's not uh, nice of me. I actually don't know how to change that. Chad, I need to change his tip. Help. Preparing your order. View details. Fuck. Oh, you can at the end? Apparently you can at the end. I can add a tip at the end. Tip in cash? You do not tip in the cash. Nopers. We don't interact with Uber Eats drivers anymore, baby. It's 2022. They drop it, it off at the door. Okay, I'm going to try this. This is going to be crazy. Chat. The number one boyfriend of all time is... He doesn't pick up. Hello? 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 I'm on stream. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Uh, I'm just coming home right now. I'm like two minutes away. Why do you sound... Oh, you're two minutes away. Yeah. You sound sad. I'm not. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Alright, babe. This is two minutes away. I couldn't ask him to get a McFlurry on the way home. Frick. S-Fan, I couldn't read what you said. You said it, it, it went too fast. I know you added me, though. But whatever it was, I'm sure it wasn't worth my time to read. <laughs> what? So mean to S-Fan. S-Fan just wants to be on this podcast so bad. He always is talking about it. S-Fan's obsessed with us. S-Fan, S-Fan wants to be us so bad. He did just say try hard. That's kind of crazy. Ugh. S-Fan, you literally grow a pair of boobs please he already has them then you could <laughs> that wasn't nice s-fan is bigger than me in every capacity except for penis he actually does have bigger boobs than both of us yeah as much as i don't want to admit it he really does chat don't capital d colon me he that's s-fan's joke from the streamer awards you know yeah. he went up on stage and I, he was like i have a bigger chest yeah. than both the co-hosts i heard it afterwards which yeah. is crazy i didn't know until after the stream None of us knew. We didn't hear your joke because we were backstage. We couldn't hear anything. Okay, I'm going to read it now. I'm sorry. I spent, if we had a measuring competition, I would win. Do people think our podcast is good or do they just hate it? I don't know. I don't think they like it very much. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Chat, I have an actual question because I know most of you have penises. I don't have a penis. If you stuck it in Jello, would you feel anything or no? Because like, there's a part of me that wants to think that it would oh, be yeah. sick, but also I feel like there's not enough like making friction. love to Jello would be a hype. I feel like. Wait, they're saying yes. You would feel it's cold. What if you you oh. can't warm it up and melt? I just feel like it, there's just not enough. You could friction. bring it to room temperature if you left it out for a day. If I was a boy, I would I would stick my all the time i think if i were a boy i would stick my in jello if i were a boy i would probably be really crafty the things i would rate on if i were a boy i would come in and get them pregnant why just to walk away <laughs> there's enough boys that do that da 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 Okay, this is Caleb, who is 30 years old on Tinder. This is his bio. Okay. R slash nice guy. Trigger warning, it says, let me guess, you're 25 with three kids. <laughs> and you've done had your fun. Now you don't want that. You want a real man to settle down with and take care of you and your kids because you let a loser nut inside you. I roll. K. Okay. I'm six even, have my own house, two vehicles, and make over 75k a year. What do you bring to the table? If the answer is someone else's kid, then go kick rocks. No man will ever want you. Stop saying you're thick, you're obese. Also, you're not a dog mom, you're a pet owner. Jesus, Caleb. Wait, why did he tweet, post that? That's his, twi that's that's his Tinder bio. That's it? That's his, yeah. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. What the heck? In my life. This is crazy that my brain just went here, but I forgot to tell you guys. I have a fear of flying. You know this. If yeah. you watch my stream. I literally didn't go to Alveus's Halloween thing because I was too stressed about flying. That's yeah. how bad it is. It's really bad. So I just drove many, 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 many... That's why I come to LA once a month. Yeah, because I can't fly. By the way. It'd be way more beneficial if I went to Austin once a month, but I can't fly. 
unfortunately. But I just drove many, many, many hours home. On our drive back, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at, um, I'm, I think I'm like, just like planning stuff for a girl's trip. And the car in front of us is like kind of zigzagging out of lanes or whatever and zigzags in and then zigzags out, must hit a gust of wind, tried to overcorrect, drives into the bank and flips the car directly in front of us, flips oh completely over, like crushing the car. Jeez. And I'm on my phone and Ludwig goes, did you see that? I look up, I just see this puff of just like dirt and I'm like, what the f And Lud was like, yeah, that car just flipped. And I said, pull over. Like, you, like, we've got to do something. I was like, pull over. Like, Ludwig was like, you know, in shock. We were both in shock, really. And I was like, pull over, pull over. And so he hurries and pulls over. And I go, I, 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 like, I can barely get words out. And I'm like, I'm calling 911. I'm calling 911. And so he, we pull over. He parks. He goes in a park. And I go, go, go see if you can help. And he starts running to the car. And I start calling 911. And it's like this weird, like doesn't really connect all the way. Like it feels like I'm on speaker in a room in a conference room or something and there's other 911 operators. And so I'm like, hello, hello. And finally like, hello. And I'm like, oh, we're at mile marker, blah, blah, blah. Somebody flipped their car. Like, I don't know if they're alive. Please, please help us. Like, please, like come here, you know? And so then I'm looking around my car for like something to help this person with. I assume they're like dead or bleeding out or something. And I, I find a scarf and I get some duct tape and I'm like on the phone with these people like asking them how close they are and they're like, we'll send someone as soon as we can. And I'm like, as fast as you can, this car's flipped. Like, you know, I'm, I'm stressed. And so I grab a scarf and duct tape because that's the, I can't think straight. And I'm like, maybe this, maybe I could like, if he's bleeding, I could tie like a kerchief or something like that. I don't know. And so I just go running out and now other cars are pulling over to help us too. And I'm running and we're a bit of ways because like I said, it took a minute to compute for us to pull over. And I... I run over there and I see a foot hanging out the window and I'm like, this guy's clearly dead. Like, there's, like, there's no way. Like, and I instantly have like, kind of like a trauma attack because the last dead body I saw was my mother's. And so I have like this weird trauma attack where I like see it and I like turn. And then I'm like, well, I have to help. So I don't really have a choice, you know, like, I have to deal with the trauma even if I develop it. Like I'm going through like this therapy thing in my brain where I'm like, oh, I might deal with a lot of trauma now and, uh, but this is my life and I have to help if I can, otherwise I get trauma. And so I turn back and then, um, and then I see the foot move and I was like, thank the Lord. Hmm. Like, thank God, you know, and I run over to the car and then right as we run over, this big, big truck pulls over and he has a big Blue Lives Matter flag as his rear view, like it's, it's imprinted and he jumps out, has this whole first aid kit and he's an off-duty police officer. Oh, damn. And he's like, he's like, all right, move over guys, like blah, blah, blah. And he starts helping, which I, yeah, he was very K-Kona, very redneck. But I, I think... Uh, it, it was a relief to see that guy there because I didn't know what the hell we were supposed to do. Like, I, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Like, I was just so focused on right. uh, calling 911. But it was it was terrifying. Uh, I it would was, not know what to do either. I'd probably do the same thing. It's crazy because you, there and you I think just, like, you would know what to do. And then you, sh you show no. up to this car flipped over and I'm like, do we flip it back over? But all I know is not to move them. Yeah, I know that. Um, so, like, what are you going to do if you can't move them? Nothing. Yeah, exactly. So we, and we know that he wasn't stuck. So if he would have been, uh, if he would have been stuck, then yeah, we would have, we would have flipped it. But, um, wasn't he a firefighter? I literally said that guys. I literally said an off duty firefighter. You said cop, but it's fine. Oh, I did. Oh, he had a blue lives matter thing, mm -hmm. but he was an off duty firefighter. Mm -hmm. Um, but whatever. It doesn't f matter. It really doesn't matter. I yeah, really I hate when people tell two different stories or two stories and people like correct you on the other person's version. Like, <laughs> it's weird. That it there's literally doesn't about. matter. Jesus. Um, and anyway, we didn't need to flip the car. Thank goodness he was um, chilling. He was just like stuck under there and there's lots of cans of tuna fish. 
for some reason. I, it made me really sad because I felt like maybe he lived in the car. Mm. Um, and, like, his car was destroyed now. But, yeah, I think he was just overcorrecting and going too fast because he, like, zoomed past us. Mm. Um, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, it was, it was super scary. It was crazy to witness. And I didn't realize how useless I was until, until you're standing outside of a flipped car. He was alive. He didn't lose his life, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, I was ready to help flip that car, but since he wasn't, um, since he wasn't, like, dying or anything, it, you don't have to flip it, because he's alive, but, yeah. yeah. I've never seen a bad car accident. The issue is, is if you flip it, and he's not, you know, it probably could actually hurt him if you flip it, because he wasn't, he was kind of just, like, crawling around under there. Um, a little you stuck. You do not want to flip the car over. That, yeah. I mean, that's such a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, if he was, if he was, like, dying or pinned in in any sort of way, we'd want to flip it, but he was, yeah. like, moving. And right. Oh. So we just had to wait. Was he drunk? No, he wasn't drunk. He was, like, completely sober. He just lost control. He was going oh, too sorry, fast. Mike. Finish the story? That was the story. Man, I hate Twitch chat. Can I just say that? Drama. Um, but... It was the only oh, time that I saw a K-Kona person, and I was like, this guy's the sh**. And the only reason I bring this up is because I see Caleb's Tinder, and I'm like, this guy's not the sh**. Yeah, no. Don't like him. That's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I don't even know what we're supposed to say about that, because it's not controversial at all. Like, he's just really cringe. Okay. Last one of the night. Reddit. Posted by Reddit user. Pink Rainbows said, my cousin's BF is a nice guy who tries to coerce her into sexual acts. Nice. And, uh... Um... The girl says, my day was good. I was just super busy with work, and now I'm home with blank. And he says, nice, babe. Maybe when I come over later, we can have some fun and try what I was talking about the other day, I emoji. And she said, what are you talking about? And he said, peach emoji. <laughs> Which nothing gets me more in the mood than a peach emoji. Ew. Very cool. And she said, oh, I already told you I don't want to do it. I had a really bad experience with blank and it kind of traumatized me, lol. And he said, I know, baby, but this time will be better. Trust me. I've been reading up on it and I know I will do it right. She said, I understand, but I don't, but I didn't really enjoy it the last time I did it, and it was super painful. I literally cried. The whole experience was pretty bad. He said, look, I get it, but this means a lot to me, and we've been through a lot together. I'm not blank. I've always been a nice guy and a good boyfriend to you, so you need to trust me. <gasps> it's kind of that I'm always being a good boyfriend to you, and you don't care about my needs in this relationship. Other females have no problem doing it and actually enjoy it. And TBH, lots don't, but they do it for their partners because they understand being selfless and caring for their man. It's part of being a girlfriend or wife. You're being really selfish right now, and I don't know how long I'm going to put up with this. She said... Let's say I did do it. We don't even have lube or anything to make sure it doesn't hurt me. And he said, we don't need it. I can just put it in super slow and gently and you'll love it as much as I love you. Oh my god. I hope he... I hope he... I hope he gets his... On. Hangs loose. <laughs> That's crazy, chat. That is awful. That's one of the worst things I've heard. Someone said 100% fake. I don't think that's fake. I doubt it. There's no world that that's fake. There are people like that out there. I thought that r slash nice guys was going to be like, hey, like, do you think this is me being a nice guy or do you think this is actually f Oh. These are just, like, really bad. Yeah, r, r, that's r slash am I an asshole. Oh. Yeah, this is r slash nice guy where it's people, it's all the people that, like, Send you a thing that are like, how dare you not reply to me? Oh, it's so bad. Like, yeah, it's awful. That's so bad. Yeah. Um, I would probably say, okay, smile, and then go home, and then start engaging sexually, um, and then probably cut it off. You'd give him blue balls? Is that what you're saying? 
No, I mean, like, physically cut off his penis. Oh! Okay, smiley face. I, this is my rule with... Okay. I will do it if you will do it. Fair enough. I will do it if you will also let me put a strap on and go to town. Fair is fair, baby. Fair is fair. Why is it expected that a girl's got to take it up the b-hole, but the guy doesn't? Oh, if anything, I'm pretty sure your G-spot is up there, so fair is fair, fair, is fair. baby. <laughs> That's what I would say. That's if, enough to shut it down. If anyone was persistent enough, I'd be like, okie dokie. I'm down if you're down. I'll try it. If you try it, whatever. Why expect more from another person? That's what I think is so annoying. When guys are like, why don't you do this? I'm like, I'll do it if you do it. Right. What do you mean, why don't I do this? Why don't you do it? Right. Annoying. Makes sense. Annoying. All right. Well, that is um, this month's episode of Whine About Whine It. Whine About It. Whine About It. Yay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, next month, we'll be uh, talking about... Call Jason again. <laughs> we'll call Jason again. We will be hot off of girls' trip. Girls' trip. I will be, we'll be hot back. off of Coachella. You'll, yeah, you'll have all your Coachella stories. It's going to be crazy. Um, assuredly, we'll have a good... We will not call Tony next time, chat. We will not be doing that. Um, find somebody to host. We will find somebody to host. Is what we'll do right now. But we appreciate you. Please um, follow both of us on Twitter. Uh, Cutie Cinderella on Twitter and Maya Higa 1. Or are you just Maya Higa? It's just Maya Higa. Maya on Higa Twitter. on Twitter. Uh, we do plan on making a wine about it Twitter soon as well as an Instagram. We just had a photo shoot today which we will be posting photos on. Wow. Very cool. Exciting. We took wine about it photos like for our podcast. It, it's kind of sick. Yeah, and we're going to be doing pictures. that monthly. Yeah. So. Cutie and I, now, every time I come to L.A., dude, we are, we are making Blinding. the most out of my couple couple days in L.A. a month. We're networking. We're going to go clubbing because, one, it's good networking, and tr two... It's the it's, only way I get invited. It's the only way she gets <laughs> invited, and three, it's good stories for streams, content. Um, we're going to go clubbing. We're going to do a photo shoot so that we both have stuff to post on our Instagrams and we have stuff to post on the Wine About It Instagram and Twitter because we're making those. And three, we're going to vlog. Tw well, we're going to vlog for Wine About It or what was what did they call what it? What do we do? Dine About It. Dine About It. Um, and then also we do uh, Omegle. Omegle, yeah. So we have two Sweet. videos for Cutie's YouTube channel and we have Wine About It on my channel. It's freaking sick. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Um, go say hi to Grayson. And Just don't playing. forget to use your Twitch Prime. Wow, use your Twitch Prime if you want. That'd be kind of sick. Um, I gotta pee really bad. I'm gonna eat some pizza. Did you actually order McDonald's? I don't remember. I'll be honest with okay. you. Tonight's going great. Everything's going great. It's just good, good, good stuff. Thank you for being here. Ah! Um, Cutie and I will let you know when we have one about it. Twitter and Instagram made and you can go follow it. That'd be sick. Goodbye. Bye, chat. See you later.